Okay, check. Audio check. Looks like we are good. Thank you for the tier one, Butler. Oh my god, what the fuck? Another sub? Thank you for the prime, Mac.
Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Okay, we're not gonna start the copy bosses spam right now. I'm not shilling ads, even though I just ran one. Okay, so I have a lot to tell you guys. Nothing crazy, but I do have a few announcements. Are you guys ready? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, before we get started, let's go ahead and get our sub goal up for today. Let's say I am at 41, so our goal today is gonna be 50. Gentle reminder, if we hit 50 subs, then we're gonna be doing an extra bonus stream where... Um, for every time I curse in Mario Kart, I give chat a sub. Um, let's go ahead and get started with announcements. So, <laughs> yes sir! <laughs> Jatters, if you aren't following my Twitter, please go follow me. You'll get updates about stream and funny haha tweets sometimes. But, the first big announcement on next, or actually this Sunday, so Sunday the 17th, I am doing Meg Esports is presenting their first ever Animal Crossing playing with viewer stream, so um, that is going to be Sunday at 11 a.m. PST. Gentle reminder, if you're going to participate in that stream, please make sure you have all of the basic cooking recipe DIYs unlocked, that we can participate in all the challenges. I'm not going to leak too much, chatters, I've been talking about it for months. So if you know, you know. If you don't know, make sure you're there on Sunday. That'll be our bonus stream for the week. Why is the GIF not loading? Anyway, I made, I made this graphic. I thought it was cool. Okay, so that is our first announcement. So, chatters, if you need that link to that tweet, exclamation AC in chat, it'll link you to the to the tweet, and then the second tweet in that thread will link you to that help article that explains to you how to unlock the DIYs. So, gentle reminder, make sure you have that done by Sunday if you want to participate. Okay, so, that is our first announcement of the day. And then, secondly... Ah. Maybe you'll be lucky and you'll get a gifted, maybe. But don't ask for subs, cringe. Okay, second announcement. Um, if any old frogs were here, I literally don't think anybody who watched, who watches now, watched like a year ago. But, when I first started streaming, I think the first time I ever streamed was back in August. So it's been nearly a year of me streaming. I would do art streams. And I haven't done, like, full-on art streams in a long-ass time. I think I stopped doing them back in, like, October. Like, that's when I finally got my game capture card, like, functioning and set up. But we are going to be bringing back art to the stream. So, let me go grab my cards. If, chatters, if anybody's familiar, if you do art yourself, something really nice you can do. They are called artist trading cards. They're 2.5 by 3.5, like little sketch cards. You can trade with people online. So I want to start making these on stream again. We're not going to do them every day. Yeah, people paint. <laughs> so chatters, uh, <laughs> um, so how it's going to work, if you look in the bottom left corner of your chat box, there is a new channel point redemption. It is called, um, I make an artist sketch card. So, Chatters can redeem that once per stream, and then we will do that at the end of stream, right before taking subs calligraphy. So, if Chatters want to do art, then make sure you redeem that every stream, otherwise we'll save it for the next time. I'm glad you like art streams, Wolfsaurus. I think, it's kind of like a niche thing, I don't think people are, like, too into it, because, like, I know even when we do calligraphy, I don't necessarily talk as much, but I think art is pretty poggy. Hi, welcome to Street Dan. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Um, yeah, so anyway, these are called, um, ATCs or artist trading cards. They're a nice way to warm up for larger products or get a thumbnail idea on paper because they're very small, right? So, if chatters, if you are artsy yourself or want to get into Armor, I think artist trading cards are a really nice way to get into it. A really nice site to check out is ATCs for All. So I'll go ahead and link that in the chat room. I just linked a link to their FAQ page, that way it gives a brief exclamation or explanation of ATCs are. So we're going to start doing those occasionally on stream. You can redeem that redemption at any point during the stream, but keep in mind we will be doing the sketch cards only at the end. I'm not going to stop what we're doing and then go to art. So that's, going, that's how it's going to work. So I think it's only 1500 points, I think? Yeah, 1500, so nothing too crazy. Um, let's see, so we talked about Animal Crossing, that'll be this upcoming Sunday. We did the artist cards. Don't have a good day, have a great day. 
True. Drake's in chat. True. True. <laughs> um, fuck. I think that's all, like, the major announcements I have for today. Wait! Hi, Vi. Welcome to stream. Yes, I did see the new Kirby game. I saw the trailer on my YouTube, and I was like, oh my god. Okay, another thing I want to say before we actually start. So, I have a story time related to this backpack. So, I just want to say thank you to chat room because um, any revenue I do get from stream, I usually buy like games for stream or I use it for like the gifted sub streams or uh, I'll sometimes treat myself. So, I got this yesterday. So, thank you chat. Essentially, you guys bought this for me, so thank you guys. Um, I got it from Hot Topic, I think, because I have that blue Winnie the Pooh one, but I think that one is a bit too extra, but this one is a bit more neutral. It does have this little bee keychain. Okay, honestly, I fucking hate bees, but, you know, this one is super cute. It's also slightly bigger than my other one, because I wanted a bigger one. But, thank you guys. You guys essentially bought this for me, so thank you. <laughs> okay. I think that's all I wanted to say. That's all I really wanted to say. Oh fuck, another thing! <laughs> um, if you looked at my Twitch schedule over the weekend, you may have noticed that I switched out the Wednesday time slot from Kirby to Fall Guys. A big reason. One, I don't think chat was feeling Kirby too much. And two, um, <clears throat> I fucking love Fall Guys. I am addicted. I played for like an hour before stream, and I think Fall Guys is really fun stream content. I feel like a lot of- let's be honest, I do have more, like, unique viewers, more viewers coming in on those streams. I think it's because Fall Guys is one of those games where, like, anybody can have a good time watching. So that'll be our Wednesday slot until I get tired of it, so. <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice? Yeah, I think the bag is pretty fucking cute. Oh, <clears throat> last thing I want to say about Fall Guys, from this point on, for any solo crown win, I will give chat a sub. For context, I have gotten, I think, four solo wins. We're not gonna- we're not- <laughs> we're not gonna backtrack. I'm not gonna pay up four. That's not fair. So, from this point on, any solo crown win I get on stream, I will give chat a sub. So, if there's a stream where we get zero wins, no subs. If there's a stream where I get five crowns, let's fucking go. You get five subs. So, that's how it's gonna be from now on. Um, okay, seriously, I think that is it now. I think that's all that I wanted to say before we get into Mario Kart story times. Because I do have a few stories. I got a few stories. I was like... Because I went out yesterday, right? Like, I just went to the mall and shit. But I, I got a few stories. <laughs> okay, so how today is gonna go. <clears throat> We're gonna do Mario Kart. As it says in the title, stream ends... When I get all mirror mode trophies, we'll, we'll see how long I can go for. Oh fuck! I, oh, I literally have none. Fuck! <laughs> I thought I had some, but I literally have no go trophies. Oh no! Shit. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna work on these gold trophies. I don't know if we're necessarily gonna go for three stars, but honestly, 150 CC is fucking slow as all hell. Um, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I was gonna say he wants to choose my character, but I think Mac redeemed it already, and they chose Mario, because, um, honestly, fuck Mac. <clears throat> well, congrats, Mac. I'm glad you did really well on your test, or the lesson, rather. If you could get your fucking license, that'd be pretty pog you. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my voice. Um. Okay, so Chatters, we're gonna do predictions every race, because, you know, Chatters want a gamba. I have to fix my overlay. Oh wait, there was one more thing I wanted to say! <laughs> one more thing, one more thing, um, for chatters. If you don't know, today is Prime Day. Meaning, if you have an Amazon Prime account, they are offering exclusive discounts, coupons, free shit- So- no, I don't think there's anything free. Hi, Potato, welcome to stream. Um, <clears throat> on Amazon's website. And one of the best deals I saw today is you can always sub with prime you know steal money from bases give it to me sub with prime easy clap it's free but until tomorrow night they were offering a promotion worth 20 percent off a hundred dollar twitch gift card 
So chatters. I personally, when I um, use subs, bits, or donos on stream for like all my friend streamers, um, I personally will like reload a gift card because sometimes like my card doesn't work. There was one time where it got declined and I was like, what the fuck? So I personally, I use gift cards when I um, gift or cheer on Twitch. That way it's issue free, no lag, it always works. So I personally bought a gift card today and it was 20% off. That means I only spent $80 for a $100 value. Crazy. Actually insane. So chatters, if you gift or sub or cheer a lot, I would recommend redeeming that offer today. Just a gentle reminder, it is Prime Day for Amazon Prime for search or shopping online. I just thought I'd tell you guys not to show. I'm not saying you should donate to your favorite streamer, but I'm just saying that's a fucking crazy discount. 20% off. You're basically getting $23. It's kind of crazy. Okay, that's it. Enough shilling. <laughs> because I know I had to buy, um, I bought one of those gift cards because like I said, we're, we're gonna be doing gifted subs for Fall Guys now. So honestly, it was a fucking steal. Now I have a reason to like, drop gifted on my friends and not feel bad. <laughs> also, I would like to clarify, I'm not sponsored. Would it be fucking crazy if I had an Amazon sponsor? That'd be insane. I'm not sponsored. I'm just generally telling you guys because it's a fucking crazy deal. I saw it on Twitter this morning and I was like, oh my god. Crazy. <clears throat> okay, let's get started. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm playing Wario, aren't I? I hate this so much. It's gonna take a little while to get used to mirror mode. I think the biggest pro and con of Mario Kart is, is that it's very easy to memorize the tracks. And like, I know any time I don't play mirror mode for a while, they sniped me. It, it messes with me. <laughs> Dude, how are these computers so good? Enjoy Wario. I fucking hate Wario. Yeah, chatters for context. We're gonna change my character every free. Oh, I could have gone for the cut. I always forget that cut at the end. Okay, this track isn't too bad. This the lines are really easy. I haven't messed up two arches yet. <laughs> I just realized Wario's a heavyweight. Um, I think it's fairly obvious that Wario is a heavyweight. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. The one that I was surprised was heavyweight was Boo, because like you know they're a ghost. You would think. It would be lightweight. Yeah, I agree. I would rather play Luigi than Stinky Wario. It'd be cool if they had like a 200cc mirror mode, because like... I think mirror mode is fine, but 150cc feels so fucking slow. <laughs> like, I think 150cc for online is fine, because, you know, the delay is always going to make the CC seem a bit faster. But, oh, okay, for regular comms, we could have 200cc. Yeah, Boo is heavyweight. It's kind of crazy. But That would be your nightmare? What would be your nightmare? What was I talking about? 200cc mirror mode? Oh. I mean, it'd be fun, though. Honestly. <clears throat> Dude, maybe it's because like, I didn't warm up my voice today before stream. Maybe that's it. You can barely handle 150cc? Well, honey, you need to practice. 150 ain't that bad. When will the next... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> next tourney will be the last Sunday of the month. As usual. Okay, chat, let's get our, our next prediction. 
Yeah, I, I agree, Potato. 150cc feels way too slow, and whenever I practice, I always do 200cc. How about next, Pri, I give you a good character? Okay. We can do that. Okay, there was this fucking clip I saw <laughs> of this track, and it was mirror mode, and literally all the players went to the right, and it was the funniest shit. Wasn't it one of our, like, You Laugh, You Lose compilation videos, I think? Oh, like, what will the challenge be for the tourney? I think it's gonna be green shells this time. Because, like, I think if we did red shells, everybody would go crazy. But I think with the green shells, it has to be, like, a semblance of skill to, like, aim with them. Hey, Pro Trick, if you have a coin in your hand and you get another item box, you will be guaranteed to not get another coin. We had two points in doubt? Kinda cringe. You think I'm not gonna get first? This is fucking baby easy mode. <laughs> Has anybody seen the Minion movie? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Because <laughs> my sister and I, we were like, we kinda wanted to see it, but you know, it was kinda cringe. And then finally she was like, you actually wanna go see it this weekend? I'm like, sure. But apparently, it's not playing, because I checked the theaters in my local area, and it's not playing past Thursday, so we're like, fuck! Because she works on weekdays, so we're like, how are we going to see the movie? So after work yesterday, we just basically, like, scrambled to the theater to see it in time. It's alright, I think it was very fun. I mean, I think everybody else in the theater, I think there was like a group of like rowdy teenagers and who were like literally vaping in the theater. I'm surprised they didn't get caught because like, you know when you go to the movies and like the workers, they'll walk through the aisles. But nobody did that during our, our, our like, our, not our taping, but during our like showing the movie. So now that's me, don't, okay, ch chatters, don't vape in the inside, that's illegal. We saw Lightyear. I wanted to see Lightyear, but it's fucking out of theaters already. So I have to wait till it comes to Disney Plus. Hi, Aslane. <clears throat> Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, on. Um, and then it was like two other families because I went at like 4 p.m. on a weekday, so like it was empty. You never do it around people. Okay, good. I was like, don't like seriously, don't vape inside. That's illegal. Don't self-report either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smoke or vape, surprisingly. I mean, people are always surprised when I tell them, but I just don't see the appeal to it personally for me. <laughs> I want to experience watching a movie in an empty theater. I know. I think the emptiest a theater has been that I've gone to. Wait. What movie was it? I saw the first Sonic movie when it came out at like noon on a weekday during a school day and there was only three other people in the theater. It was crazy. Hi, right, welcome to stream Poppy Lover. Hope you're doing well today. Because I remember when I was younger, at our local theater, they would show like kids movies for free. Like, not new movies, but they would show, like, old Disney movies for free. Because, like, you know, to give something- to give the kids something to do during summer instead of, like, loitering and, like, causing trouble, right? So my mom- they would show a movie, like, twice a week, I think? So we would take a bus to the theater and watch a kid's movie. <clears throat> You know how libraries have the summer reading program? <laughs> Wait, let me let me try again. You know how libraries have the summer reading program? I remember I was super into them when I was younger. Because when we go to the library every week, we would check out like 20 books at a time. Because, you know, we were crazy. And we would check out books on separate accounts. Because I think when you were younger, you can only check out like 5 books at a time. So we would bring my card, my sister's card, my mom's card, and my dad's card. That way we could check out 20 books every week. Just so we could, like, crush the summer reading program. And I think how it worked in my, at my libraries, because we went to two. 
is they would have like normal prizes if you finish the like I think it was like 20 hours of reading for the summer and then for every hour of reading they had a raffle and I got so many fucking raffle tickets but I literally didn't win anything they would have prizes as like blow up dolls I think one year they had camping equipment they had so much cool shit but I put so many raffle tickets in and I got nothing I think I actually got scammed it was horrible you were crazy? Yes, I am crazy. Okay, guys, I fell off. I'm in third. I'm in third. Dog shoot items? My god, fuck you! <laughs> As lane <Elaine> Omega lol. <laughs> Sonic 2 did surprisingly well, really? I didn't know that. I mean, I kind of wanted to go see Sonic 2, but I wasn't different about it. I was like, I told my sister, I was like, do you want to go? She's like, not really. I was like, okay. Guys, I fell off. I got second. We don't judge here. No, chatters. When I say blow up doll, it was like, you know, the like the inflatable blow up or like ring dolls you put in the pool? Like, not, not, this is a fucking kids raffle, guys. Calm down. Chatters are being weird, champ. <laughs> okay, new prediction is up. <laughs> no, Chatters, stop. Ah! Oh my god! Thank you for the gifted sub, Potato. I appreciate that. It's your first gifted. Let's go! We're gonna get your name written at the end of stream in our sub only journal. Thank you, hon! Oh, wait, I forgot this is mirror mode. <laughs> okay, so we can do our first story time. Okay, I was thinking about how I could, like, write- I was thinking- okay. I don't know about you guys, but I always, like, pre-think what I'm gonna say, like, the setup and how I'm gonna say it on stream. Cause there's a certain way to tell a story that gives like a hook and then like filler, right? Tell us the blow up doll story. No, there there's <laughs> there's no story chatters. Um Okay. <clears throat> so some chatters know. I'm a goody good. I follow the rules, I don't cause trouble. But you know, there's some things where I think are fine to let slide. One of those things is sneaking in movies or sneaking in food to the theater. So I usually don't bring snacks into the theater because I think eating during the movie is distracting and the sounds bother me. Like, even when I'm sitting there and other people are eating popcorn, it, it bothers me. So I usually don't bring in food. But yesterday, my sister and I went to Olive Garden right before the movie started, and I've never been to Olive Garden. It was actually surprisingly really good. And usually when you go to restaurants, the portion sizes are, like, very small. But the portion sizes they had there were fucking, like, huge. They were insane. It was like a family portion. It was big. So my sister and I were like, fuck, how are we going to bring the leftovers home? We're going to the movie theater. So I called the theater and I said, hey, I have a question. I was like, you know, if we bring it back to the theater, is it fine? You know, because it's in the mall. I was like, you know, if we have like a Hot Topic bag and bring it into the theater, is that fine? They're like, oh yeah, you're fine. Like, as long as it doesn't look weird, we won't search. And like, cool. So um, my sister and I, before the movie starts, we have 10 minutes before the movie starts. We go to Hot Topic. We buy some shit, we get a- we at, we purposely ask for a big plastic shopping bag. And we kind of like hide our to-go boxes inside the Hot Topic bag. And we go into the theater, no troubles, they didn't say anything. And I wanted to take a picture of me like eating the Olive Garden in the theater. But I thought that'd be back. I didn't want to like self-report too much, so... <laughs> So chatters, I snuck in Olive Garden to the theater and nobody knew fucking I'm gonna be a thief. <laughs> I think I see where this is going. What? Huh? Huh? I should have- okay. I was gonna take a picture and like post it on Twitter or some shit because I think that one would have- I think people would have liked that one, but I, I don't want to promote bad behavior, okay? I don't want little zoomers- Popping me and then them getting in trouble. But it was funny, throughout the whole movie, we could smell the pasta in our bag. <laughs> okay, chat, just for context, if we had a car, we would put it in the car, like in the parking lot. But we took a lift to the mall 
Because we can't- neither of us can drive, so it's like, fuck. Oh, Luigi, thank you for redeeming. We'll do that next. <laughs> um, do you plan the ad setups? Um, I do them every hour, so kinda. How do predictions work? Who asked that? I, I saw somebody ask that. Who won it? Um, Shatters, I forgot, I don't know who asked, but if you don't know how channel point predictions work, I'll link you to a Twitch help article. <laughs> really a paper reusable? I think some shops in the mall, they still- they have like their branded bags, like the plastic ones. Cause like, I think in Washington you can still have plastic bags, but you have to charge for them, I think. So I think the lady- like, she gave us like this big ass bag. It was like half my height, so like what, two feet? <laughs> um, I wish there would be like a plastic bag ban, but I don't think manufacturers in our state are ready for it, honestly. I think that's the main reason why. Wait, did I get a go trophy? Oh, look at that, I did. I got a two star, frick. Okay, we're gonna do Luigi next, because Luigi redeemed Luigi. Oh, is you? Okay, yeah, so go ahead and check out that Twitch help article and explain everything about predictions and channel points. <clears throat> okay, go ahead and do the next parade. Hey, Chatter's new prediction is up. Cause like, you ever see like videos? Dude, we were talking about us sneaking in food. Potentially, cause we, me and my sister really getting out of time. If we have leftovers, what are we gonna do? Um. Oh my god! Potato's gonna oil me up if we get 20 viewers? That'd be crazy. I mean, we might hit 20. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm only gonna say, you get charged five cents. I think it's like 20 cents. We got charged a dollar for that big ass Hot Topic bag. Okay, I will be on, I hate this mirror mode. I hate the mirror mode for this track. The reason why I bought the backpack yesterday is because I think my sister bought a shirt and then I bought the backpack, so no way the um, cashier lady would have given us a big bag if we just bought the t-shirt. So, because I've been eyeing that backpack for a while, and I finally decided to get it yesterday, just because, like, I wanted to buy it. I also got my Twitch payout. I think it's going to process today or tomorrow. So, once again, thank you, chat, for buying me that backpack. Um, <clears throat> but then, also, the backpack is bigger, so she would have a reason to give us a big bag. You put the leftovers in your pants and pretend it didn't happen? Okay. Do any chatters know who Super Mega is? If you do, that's pretty poggy. Um, they used to edit for Game Grumps and Mark Markiplier, but they do their own shit now. And they have this video where they go to Spaghetti Factory wearing white suits. And like, they're, they're doing a gag. They're intentionally doing a gag. Where they stuff like the marinara pasta into their hats and their pockets. And they just walk outside of the restaurant looking like absolute crazy with pasta sauce all over their nice white suits. It's a really good video. If you don't know Super Mega, check them out. They have this really good Mario Kart video. Um, what is- I think the concept was every time they got hit with an item, they took a shot of, um, alcohol, And it was a really fucking good video. Delicious pasta during the Minion movie. I really wanted to like eat it during the film, but we didn't have any forks and utensils. Oh, another thing. <laughs> As the um, server was giving us our to-go boxes, my sister, she asked for a bread bag. But like, on the bread bag, it had the Olive Garden logo on it. And I told her, I was like, no, we cannot put the bread in the bread bag. Because if they do happen to look through our bags, they're going to know that there's food inside the labeled bread bag. <laughs> Yeah, feel free and tell us your card combo. Um, I personally don't ever play with cards because I think they're a lot more difficult to handle. But you can go ahead and tell us in the chat room. <clears throat> okay, first easy clap. I need to practice with cards, but I find it's a lot easier for me to drift with the inside drift bike. Eat it with your hands? No! Okay, one pandemic. And also, that's fucking gross. I think eating with your hands in the theater, like, just imagine me, like, hunched over the container, eating like this, I would stand out too much. I was already sitting in the back of the theater, because, you know, okay. New prediction is up, Chatters, go Gamba. 
My favorite thing about going to the movies is the audio quality. It is insane how loud it is. Like, I know it's kind of- oh my god. I know it's kind of uncomfortable that the movie is slightly too loud, but it makes it feel like you have to fully focus on it. And another thing I noticed when I was watching the Minions movie is that there was this weird, like, red-blue chrome effect on some of the backgrounds. And it had to be intentional because I know the movie was shown in 3D, but I don't think the red and blue chrome effect affects the 3D. Like, it might have been a stylistic choice because I know, like, I think most every movie in a theater is played on, like, a projector. That's why, like, the visual quality is not as good as it is, like, if you're streaming on, like, your computer or your tablet or something. But, for me, I don't necessarily care much about visuals because, you know, I can't see anyway. I have very bad vision. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> um, but I'm a sucker for good audio. Because, like, I've noticed I have several pairs of headsets, I have earbuds, I have over-the-head headphones, and they all have a slightly different audio mixing and it's kind of annoying sometimes. But, like, in the theater, it's always gonna be good. It's loud enough where you can, like, feel it in your chest. It's insane. Um, self-report. When I watched Frozen 2, and, um, <laughs> when Elsa was singing Into the Unknown, I literally cried in the theater because the song sounded so powerful because the audio mixing was incredible in the theater. I think that was the last time I cried in public, actually. <laughs> You have, a you have a personal where Americans aren't allowed to complain about weird things? Well, was I, was I complaining, actually? No, I wasn't complaining, really. Ah! Dodged it! Another thing I was thinking about, I wish every single, like, play or Broadway play was filmed for DVD. Because I remember when Hamilton was released on Disney+, Plus, like, all the shots, all the close-ups were insane. I understand that to get all those shots, you basically have to perform the whole play multiple times. But the quality is crazy. Like, I bet if every single Broadway play had a DVD set, people would fucking buy the shit out of it. It's totally worth, too. Like, to have really good audio, to have, like, all these different shots and close-ups. I would pay big bucks for that, personally. Show coming! Too far away, easy. I don't think I've ever seen a play in public, or like, not in public, in person. <clears throat> I want to though, but I don't know what to see. Also, tickets are fucking expensive. <laughs> Whenever I hear something super weird in the news, my first thought is it probably happened in America. Let let's narrow that down, probably like, Florida. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have many showings here, unfortunately. And if we do, it's always in Seattle. And they're all they're always like, eh. Like, nothing amazing usually plays. It's usually just local shit, which is fine. Local stuff is fine. But... It's like, eh. <laughs> the reason why I don't necessarily like local performances as much, and the reason why I didn't go a lot, is, um... One of my neighbors, she used to sing, like, opera at, like, the local plays, and she was fine. Not the best, mind you, but she felt like she was the best. And I couldn't imagine going to a local play and her performing, and I have to, like, I guess sit through it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I took note of your bike build, or your car build, Luigi. I'll have to, I'll have to test it off the stream. Cause like, I know some other chatters have suggested their builds, and like, I know I need to change my build, but... I just need to practice with it. Usually it takes me a while to get comfortable with different builds. Especially, I think I've had this build for what? Easy clap? Um, I think four months now? Well, bye Crystal, we s we'll see you next time, hon. <laughs> okay, mirror mode isn't that bad. I'm doing decent so far. We've only gotten one second place, unfortunately, but you know... It didn't happen, it didn't happen. You watch the VOD, aww. Okay, chatters, I have a question. I have noticed a drastic increase in my VOD watched hours, because I can see that in my analytics. 
Um, type a one in chat if you actually watch the VODs if you miss the stream. I know people watching the stream now are are live watching it. But if you miss the stream, do you actually watch the VOD? Because I would like to know. Because I know my stream time isn't the best. Like, it's literally in the middle of the day. Where, like, a lot of people are either in school or working. Because I know for me, I don't necessarily watch VODs all the time for creators that I enjoy. But I usually watch most of Hassan Abi's VODs because usually I like watching the news coverage. And I've been watching Hassan for... I think a year and a half at this point. And like, you know when you watch a streamer for a long time, you feel like invested in their streams? And you feel like if you miss a single moment, you, you like missed something important, right? So I usually will watch back all his VODs. What do you mean in the middle of the day? It's 9 p.m. Well, you're EU as Lane, so Lamel. <laughs> you watch the VODs, really, Luigi? Oh, that's cool. Because, like, I understand the whole appeal to a live stream is to be able to interact, like, live in the moment, like, actually get to talk, talk to the streamer. But I think if the content stands alone to where you don't need the live interaction, I think watching the VOD is fine. I don't, Lamel. That's okay. Or, like, if one of my streamer friends is doing like a special plan segment, then I'll watch back like that section of the VOD. But um, I can't trash talk the streamer when I watch the VOD. True. True. <laughs> is 1.46 for you? Yeah, I'm on PST because I'm on the West Coast. So it is- Guys, we're 45 minutes into stream, oh my god. Um, it's almost noon for me. You haven't been that active on Twitch? No, that's okay. I, I find that I'm not active on Twitch when my favorite streamers aren't live. And I, I fully support the argument that the personality will shape the platform. Like, dude, who was it that just went to YouTube? Wasn't it, I think, Lily Pichu? And also Mythological went to, to, or went to YouTube? Myth was a total surprise. I had no idea. There was no, no inkling that he was going to YouTube. Because I watched his last stream. I usually don't watch a lot of Myth because I don't like FPS so much, but I just like having him on in the background. Because, you know, he's funny. And I think in his last stream he said he was going to take a, a few days break, and then he dropped the announcement video. I think it was, what, fucking yesterday or the day before, and I was like, oh my god. Myth on YouTube? That's crazy. I think it's... Okay, I don't think it's necessarily sad seeing people cross to different platforms like it's totally fine like if you can get a deal to get like either money or like sponsors for like better or higher produced shows i think i say totally go for it but i feel like the vibe on twitch is a lot better than on youtube like it feels more like a tight-knit community versus youtube where it's like a whole bunch of people who don't necessarily know what streaming is or like what streaming can be So chatters, I'm not gonna go to YouTube just yet unless I get my $10 million deal, then maybe I will consider it. <laughs> maybe one day, Copium. I'll be famous. <clears throat> oh my god, they tried to snipe me with a green? Kinda rude. Dude, I feel like the computers are sniping me. Yeah, didn't Shroud just like get signed to like a um a team? F fuck, I saw the announcement, but I can't remember the name. I'm like, I know I was trial, like, I'm not too into his gun tanks, like, I just don't like shooters too much. Because like, I know for me, the biggest appeal to the streamer is, like, the personality or their style of commentary. <laughs> Rip Mixer, yeah. <laughs> Let's bring it back, guys. Oh, Sentinels, that was it, that was it. Dude, who's in front of me? I missed? No items? Wait, Chatters, imagine I get signed to a pro gaming team. <laughs> what team would I even be on? What team would I even be good enough to qualify for? Because I'm dog shit at like every game I play. But okay. I'm decent at Mario Kart. I think I am decent. Like, I'm no pro, but I am better than some fucking Norby. Like, I'm not a casual player, let's say. Yeah, I agree with you, Aslina. If I got offered, like, a, a bag, I would take that bag. But... You also have to wait- You also have to, like, understand money doesn't last forever. 
Like, yes, a milli is a fucking big bag, but if you think about it, like, in terms of income, a million will last you maybe 10 years. Because cost of living is insane, like, if you compare it to your actual living wages currently. A million maybe lasts 10 years, so it's not a feasible option for some. <laughs> phase- phase up- wait, what is the- What is the- I know the sign for phase, I can't do it now, I forgot. 10 years? Well... Wait, okay, so if someone makes- let's say comfortable living wage is like 40 to 50k a year. Wait, never mind, I think 20. I think a million will last 20 years comfortably, but that's if you're like, not living luxury. I don't know. I don't- I don't- <laughs> I don't do our budgeting in the house, so... Oopsie! I feel like you get signed up for a pro Mario Kart team. Maybe. <laughs> Dude, chatters, have any of you guys actually seen pro Mario Kart, like, videos or tournaments? They are insane. They're crazy. I think the first time I was aware that there was, like, an actual pro scene for Mario Kart, I think Bloodwig did, like, a stream where he commentated over, like, pro players playing. It was crazy. Your school does eSports? Bruh. The closest thing at my high school, I think Mac, you said you're in college, but, um, the closest thing in high school to the eSports team that we had was a fucking Magic the Gathering club. A melee would last you 55 years? True, but also America is fucking expensive. Okay, anybody want to change my character? Anybody? <clears throat> anybody want to change my character? <laughs> That's why I'm not American. <laughs> no, I didn't try the toaster sh scramblers. I don't have room in the freezer. We might go grocery shopping this week, though. Tanuki Mario? Okay, thank you for redeeming potato. I appreciate that. I love when I tell chat to do something and they actually do it now. <laughs> okay, on to the next free. <clears throat> okay, what's the next story time I had? I think I had three stories. Let's see, I, I told the sneaking in food. <laughs> we talked about movies briefly. <clears throat> oh, I, I have I think I have one more story time. Wait, no, I, I might have two. Okay. So you know when you see in movies or in video games where the characters, like, get their whole arm or their leg cut off? Like, especially in zombie movies, because like, oh, it's infected, we have to cut off your shin! And it's like, oh my god! And they scream, and they fucking live and don't pass out. And it's, like, in the movies, they make it seem, quote-unquote, so easy. But the other day, we were harvesting our cherries, so, like, I wasn't wearing gloves, because it's a lot easier to harvest them without gloves on. So, I- <laughs> I woke up the next morning with this fat-ass splinter on my thumb. And it's on my left thumb. I was like, oh no. Splinters are the worst. It's the worst thing ever. And my mom also got one in her finger too, so we're like, fuck! And like, we're scared of our dad because whenever anybody has any injury, he used to be in the Navy. He used to actually be like a, um, a lifeguard in the Navy. So like, he knows first aid, he- like, if we ever get hurt, he knows what to do. But anytime any of us have a splinter, it's the fucking worst. Because whenever he does it, um, he, like, he cuts a big-ass hole on your finger and, like, digs it out and it fucking hurts. Thankfully, I've never had to have that happen, but it always happens to my mom because she does a lot of gardening, usually. And anytime he does it, she's fucking screaming Bloody Mary, right? So my mom and I, we're like, we do not want dad to help, we do not want to help. So we try and get each other's splinters out, but we can't do it because, you know, we're, we're too wimp. We're too wimpy, we're too much of a pussy to do it. So we were like, fuck, so we call our dad, and I'm like, mom, you go first, I can't handle it. And so he's helping her get the splinter out, and she's like screaming at the top of her lungs, and I'm sitting in the other room just like, oh my god, I, I literally can't do this right now. And and he doesn't get the splinter out, because she's like, stop, I quit, I quit. And then it's my turn, and he gets it out in like two minutes, and like, I don't scream at all, because I'm not the type to like, exclaim in pain. And then once he got it out, my, my dad was like, yeah, see, Megan's no fucking pussy. I'm like, yep, I'm tough. 
does it sound worse than it is? Well, to me, like, for me, pain has never been too crazy. I'm usually able to tolerate it. Like, when I did, when I used to have cramps, it used to be fine. Like, I didn't complain too much because in my head, if you kind of vocalize your distress or your pain, for me, it personally never helped. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, it wasn't that bad, but it was still, like, uncomfortable. someone cut my limb up, I'd instantly pass you. It's just, I can't imagine living without an appendix. It's like, if you get a splinter, cut it out, true. That's what he did, and it fucking hurt. It's like the splinter from Spongebob, true. If you're weak, then work out. True, actually true. <gasps> Is that true, Asley? Is that actually fucking true? From 150? I know people were pushing for that. If that is true, that is great. That's actually great for people. They're rolling it out so like- Fuck! Did I not run a prediction? I'm sorry, chat. I forgot. Here's a new prediction. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a time where I worked out. Chatters, don't call me fat. That's mean and bully behavior. Um. Uh, because I've- Okay. I used to have asthma when I was younger. But it kind of away when it kind of went away when I was a teenager. But anytime we'd have like gym class in like high school or middle school, like I had difficulty breathing. Apparently, there's like exercise-induced asthma, which is what my friend had, and like we kind of teased him for it. But apparently, it's a real thing. So, the most exercise I'll do right now is um, I'll go biking. I actually went biking the other day, and then I usually do yard work a lot, and that's like a lot of like lifting, a lot of bending. And also, like, just being on your feet. Because, like, you, I have to water the I have to water the garden every day now. I used to do it in the morning, but I try to do it in the evening and I want to look cooler. Um, but I'm usually like, on my feet for an hour or so. Like, I'm lugging the hose around. I'm lugging these big bins of water around our property. So, I think that is workout enough. Like, <laughs> I don't think there will ever be a time where I'm, like, underweight like I've, we have obesity in my family so like it's in my genetics to where like i'm not gonna be able to like be skinny skinny but i'm at the point where like i like how i look i think i look cute i like my body type so it doesn't bother me yeah i used to go family biking all the time when i was younger too we would go hiking and then we would go sometimes we'd bring our bikes but oh dodged okay asthma can go away kind of Kind of. How it works is if you have asthma when you're younger, like i.e. under 10, if you are treated properly, like if you use your inhaler when you're supposed to, it'll kind of like minimize your flare-ups. Um, but asthma is still a chronic disease, so you still have it, it's just it doesn't act up as much. It's kind of like, I think the best analogy would be like how a volcano would probably always erupt, but sometimes there's periods where it's dormant. So, for most people whose asthma is treated when they're younger, they usually don't have flare-ups when they're older, but some people unfortunately do experience it when they get older, so. I was just unlucky. I need to get re-diagnosed, though. I need to get re-evaluated, but... <laughs> I'm strong for my job. Yeah, Max is. They do, like, truck every other day. Chat, look at that, another first, easy clap. Bye, Luigi. We'll see you next time, hon. Yeah. <laughs> 
hate this part. This is my least favorite part of the track. Even though the track is like 50% this line right here. I think the worst pain I've ever been in was removing that splinter. Because I was thinking about it, like, after hearing my mom fucking scream her head off, I was like, maybe the splinter can just stay on my finger. Because you know how you hear stories of, like, people having lead from pencils being stabbed in their hands? And they're fine. But apparently, if you leave shit in your body, like a foreign object, then it has a high chance of getting infected, and then you might have to, like, lose your whole finger. I was like, fuck, I guess I have to dig it out. Oh my god, I knew that was coming, I knew that was coming. You know what would be cool? If, like, women got PTO, have time off so they can, like, chill during the period, that'd be fucking sick. I don't care if it's not fair. Because, like, you see videos of, like, men trying on, like, the, um, period pain emulators, where it's, like, a series of, like, electroshocks, and they're fucking, like, laying over in pain, and it's like, now you know how we feel, bitch! Because, like, I'm on Depo, I've been on Depo for a few years, and I'm lucky to where, like, I don't have a cycle anymore, and it is fucking great, dude. Like, mine wasn't really that bad. Like, it was manageable, like, if I took an eye of and I was fine. But it was just uncomfortable, and it's like, I don't want to go through my life uncomfortable, you know? Oh! Dodged like a bro? Oh my god, he cannot pass me right now! <laughs> no way! Come on, my line's gonna be better. No! Fuck! I had it at the end! I had it, and then I didn't have it. Yeah, there was one girl at my uh, former workplace. Um, her cycle was really bad. And, um... She would have to, like, sit down for, like, 30 minutes at a time. And, like, painkillers didn't help her. And it's like, what can we really do, you know? <laughs> no, you didn't have it, Trip. <laughs> I didn't have it. But it's like... I wish there was more we could do for, like, women, you know? Or at least take a longer, longer lunch break. Yeah, it'd be cool. Like... I know for more workplaces where it's physically demanding, it, it's hard to work when you're in fucking pain. Like, I, I think it'd be a lot easier if you had, like, uh, a more sedimentary- sed- wait. <laughs> sedimentary job- wait, no, I, I'm not saying the right word. Sedimentary, I think is what it is, where you basically sit for most of your work time. But it's still, like, uncomfortable. It, it, to me, like, I think the best way to equate is, like, imagine- if you're trying to go through your day, but you basically have like a really bad stomach ache. Or like just a pain in your abdomen the whole day. Like it's unbearable. But bruh, I am never getting off depot. Like I am not going back to having a cycle. Like I, I don't think I can handle it. Cause I've told myself I think the best thing my sister has ever told me. She's like, you know, don't go through life wishing you didn't do something. And she always says that whenever she buys something. <laughs> um, cause she bought, she bought the whole manga set for, um, what's it called? Fuck. It's the, Demon Slayer. She bought the whole manga set for Demon Slayer. And it was like a hundred, it was like a hundred and fifty dollars, right? And she, I was like, you know, that's expensive, right? And she's like, you know. I'm not gonna live for long, meaning life isn't long, she's, she's fucking young like me. But she's like, I'm not gonna go through life regretting I didn't buy something, and I'm like, true. True. So I've told myself, that if I want something, and if it's in my budget, I will buy it. If I want to buy a bubble tea on the way home, I will buy a bubble tea. Tying back onto that, like... Don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to tell people how you feel. Not necessarily romantically, but like with platonic stuff too. It's like, don't be hiding back how you feel. 
It's like you only live once. Tell people you appreciate them. Tell your friends that you love them, you know? Because when I was younger, I used to, like, not spend my money at all. Like, I would save my money. I had so much money in my saving account. But then it's like, if you have money and you don't spend it on stuff you want to buy, it's like, what's the point? <clears throat> yeah, chatters, definitely try and get a credit card early on in your life. Like, once you're eligible to get one, get one. It's good to build up your credit score as soon as you can. I know it's cliche, but YOLO, talking about spending money. Do you know what time it is? Anybody know what time it is? We are an hour in the stream, so it is time for me to run a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad viewing. Also, today is Prime Day. So Twitch is offering a special discount on Twitch gift cards. You'll save 20%. So you spend $80, you get a $100 gift card. And also subscribe with Prime. It's free. So chatters, get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. After the break, we're going to continue with Mario Kart. So we'll see some of you guys in a few. <coughs> 10 out of 10, baby! <laughs> Okay, let's go back to it. Oh, that was the end of the video. I didn't realize. Oh, it's not a three star. I got a second place on the music map, I think. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm trying to think. Do I have any other stories from the weekend? I don't think so, really. Okay, it looks like we got three trophies in an hour. <laughs> okay, anybody want to change my character? Anybody? I don't... Okay, if it's three trophies per hour... And there's 14 trophies... Used it already? I changed the max times per stream you can redeem it. I think you can redeem up to three times per stream now, Mac. Um, let's say 14 divided by three. Fuck, that's four hours. Okay, Jatters, we're gonna do two hours of Mario Kart as usual. <laughs> I'm doing what they call clickbait. Okay, last call. Anybody re want to redeem? Otherwise, we're gonna keep with Tanuki. Oh, Splatoon girl? Why the fucking Splatoon characters? I. Okay. Fine. Let's do green, because I like green. <laughs> Four and a half hours? Yeah. Maybe we'll continue this run next week. Because <laughs> I have other shit I gotta do today. <laughs> Okay, chat is first prediction for the sprees up. Go Gamma, do you think I'll get first place? Yeah, four and a half would be a long stream for me, because I usually try and shoot for like three and a half hours. Um, another reason why I'm adding the sketch card segment to stream is on days where we do do that, stream will probably go for four hours, because I need to get used to streaming longer. I think three hours is a good sweet spot, but if I'm ever going to pursue stream, I guess seriously, you have to get used to like a longer airtime. Which is something I can do, I can get used to. 
But you need to learn how to like fill up that whole time with I guess commentary. Like there will be times where I don't talk for a few minutes and that's fine. But I don't want like the whole stream just me sitting there not talking, you know? I think that's a big reason why like reaction content is really good for Twitch is because even if the streamer isn't commentating or talking, there's always still like audio playing like of the actual video they're watching. I think that's why it, it's very successful. Like I was thinking about this the other day. There's the reason why people will like click off a stream or leave a stream. Because I understand like long form content is for everybody. Like I understand that people will like can't stay the whole time, that, that's totally fine. I don't watch full streams typically myself. So I think it's unfair to expect that of people who watch you. Oh my god, a red gel and a fucking blue! But like, for the people who watch the VODs too, like, you want to make sure it's engaging for them as well. Like, even if they can't make the live, you still want to make sure you're providing adequate entertainment for them too. Speaking about VODs, I need to update my YouTube VOD channel. <laughs> I haven't made uploads to it for like a month now and I need to update it. <laughs> Easy, first place. We had no doubters that time? Really? Come on guys, gotta cringe. No believers? SMH did. Down to the next one. Well, thank you, Wolf. I appreciate that. Um, I know for me, when I first started streaming, like I definitely struggled with talking and being able to keep talking in terms of conversation. And I think a, a person who really brought up a good point about this was NMP LOL. Um, I don't know what he was talking about, but essentially, he said the reason why small streamers aren't successful is because their chat rooms aren't active enough to always have something to constantly bounce off of. Which is fine, that's how it is. But in return, big streamers, when they have like a very active chat room, they don't necessarily acknowledge chat as much. Because when you're at that point, people will watch you anyway. And if you're that big, I would hope that your commentary has evolved to a point where you don't necessarily need someone else to banter back and forth with. Oh no. I'm the one that keeps going for nano shot just in case. <laughs> okay, a resident doubter. I see how it is. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Doubters are fine. But you know, I'm not playing a heavy character anymore, thankfully. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I should have the red! I'm too awkward to talk and stream that long. I mean... <laughs> I think part of it, you have to be confident enough in your, not talent, but your ability to speak. Because, like, I know there will be times where, like, I think a story is stupid, but I think I can say it in a way that could be entertaining for some. Like, as I said earlier, when I was, ta when I was talking about, like, my story times, like, you have to, I guess, write them in your head in a way. That'll make people want to listen to it. I think the biggest or the best analogy I can make is like, you know when you see like a TikTok story time and they instantly hook you in? Making you want to like watch all five parts of their really cringe and stupid story time video. It's kind of like that. <laughs> Blue show coming? Dude, so many blues! People who know me IRL, they know I'm super introverted, I'm super quiet. Like, I hung out with my friend a, I hung out with my friend a few weekends ago, and I'm like, we, we talk and stuff. But like, I don't feel the need to keep talking to them if I'm in person with them. Because I'm the kind of person where, like, I feel comfortable in silence. 
Because, like, I'm not naturally extroverted. I'm naturally introverted. That's why I find it very interesting that I even started streaming in the first place. Because this type of, I guess, hobby is not for people who are introverted, typically. A okay, first place, baby! Easy clap. Yeah, I'm the type of person to where... If we're both chilling by ourselves, but in the same room, I'm totally fine with that. Like, if we're on, like, our own phones, and, like, not talking to each other, I think that's so chill. Like, that's how my s sister and I hang out. Like, we'll play a game together, and then we'll just, like, chill in each other's rooms. And just keep to ourselves. Okay, chat, new prediction is up. Do any of my in-person friends watch my stream? No. Um, the only, like, in-person friend I know who, like, knows of Twitch is Cutie Lee, but she also streams herself. And I think it'd be kind of weird if any of my IRL friends watch the stream. Because it's not that I, like, talk about them all the time, but... My on-stream personality is wildly different than my IRL, like, normal personality. In the sense of, like, as I said earlier, I'm slightly more extroverted and talkative on stream than I am IRL. And, like, also, none of my friends have reached out about my Twitch, really. I have one friend, oh no, it's not my friend, but it's, like, my sister's friend who, like, asks me about it every time we, like, hang out and stuff. Or, like, if we're playing a game in VC, like, he'll ask about it. And I, I kind of want to tell him what my channel is, but I'm also, like, I feel like it'd be cringe. It'd be cringe. But I bet, because like all my friends are gamers, right? I bet like if they saw my actual gameplay, they would just like shit on me and say I'm bad at the game. <laughs> Let's be honest. That that's all they would say. Because I think a big appeal to streamers as well is that you don't know them. So I think a reason why you watch a streamer is to get to know them better, right? So I feel like someone who knew me IRL like a friend wouldn't get as much enjoyment out of it. Because they already know a lot about me, right? I'm here to fight this streamer? No! I'm like the nicest person, dude! Come on! I was looking at my Twitch stats for all the emotes that are used, and it's barely been two weeks into the month, and you guys have used Psy2 Spin over a thousand times. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Because I personally, I love spam in chat. I think it's funny. It keeps chat lighthearted. <clears throat> And also, I think, like, emote spam is a nice way for people who aren't necessarily as comfortable to, like, actually type in the chat room to be- to, like, participate in stream. Like, if I see a first-time chatter and their first message is an emote, that's totally fine. I think it's cute. We are funny. <laughs> Keep down yourself that, chatters. Yeah, that's another first easy clap. Yeah, on to the next. Your new prediction is up, go Gamba. Okay, playing the Inkling character is not as bad as I thought it'd be. I think it's like a middleweight character. So it's definitely not that bad to handle! Hi Titans, welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today, hun. 
Okay, I do think the trick animation for the Splatoon girl is kind of cool. Oh, they turn into a squid? Kind of cute. <laughs> you flew off the stage just like I flew to go fuck your mom. Got him! Okay, that's my one your mom joke for the day. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> Blue shell? Ah! <laughs> Can I clap him? Wait, that was a red shell. I wanted this net. You did what? It was a joke! Comedy! I feel like... Every your mom joke is targeted at Mac and I feel bad. Now that I think about it, I think like two out of the three have been towards Mac. Who is my main? Um, my main character is usually Rose Gold Peach or Gold Mario because I think it's such a flex to play those characters. Because in order to unlock them, you have to get gold trophies in every three, I believe. And I just think it's cool. Why is there so many fucking blue shells? There's like the millionth one today. I need to have a talk with my mom. <laughs> I think your mom and then these nuts jokes are fine. It's just like the punchline is the same every time. It's kind of like how the trends on TikTok. It's like you lip sync to a sound and it's literally the same joke every time. I think it's just people, they like knowing what to expect with the jokes, right? And I think it's the lowest form of comedy, but I think used sparingly, it is pretty solid. Like, I think in Emmy Beam's channel, she had a, a donation incentive to where if you donated X amount of dollars during a charity stream, she would add a sound alert command. And I made my sound alert a your mom sound bite, and it's so stupid, but it's so good. <laughs> it's low IQ comedy. Yeah, it is. For real, for real, it is. Guys, this is another three-star go trophy. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm fucking correct. Another first, baby. My IQ is low. Should we do an IQ test on stream one day? I think that'd be funny. Yeah, I used to main Shy Guy too, but I kind of like how um, the Rose Gold is a bit heavier. Because the issue I was having playing Shy Guy is I would get like jostled around a lot. Like in online and I would get annoyed if I got rammed. Okay, chatters, on to the next pre. <laughs> Anybody want to change my character? Anybody mod check? Okay, well that's four pre's done. What if I have zero IQ? Is that possible? <laughs> okay, I have noticed as time has gone out, I I feel like I'm stupider. Cause like when you're in like middle school or high school, I feel like you're doing more work so your brain is more engaged, but as you like do adult things like get a real job and that type of shit, I feel like your IQ goes down. Um, use your channel points if you want to change my character. It's only 500. <laughs> oh, I used to lane Mink too. Or Mink. Link. I used to main Link. And I think a big reason why I feel like my intelligence has gone down is just like stress. I, I feel like brain fog all the time. That sucks. Okay, we're gonna do Gold Mario. Ooh, okay. Thank you for redeeming potato. I just said I love Gold Mario, so thank you. Actually listening to the streamer. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Egg cup baby, this is the one that fucked me up last week, didn't it? This priest took so many attempts at 200 CC, it was embarrassing. For you, it's out of stock, really? Did you redeem it today?
Oh, it might be because someone else just redeemed it, because it's on like a two minute timer, I think. <sighs> okay. Let's get started. Oh, this one's gonna be so difficult. Actually, it might not be, because I don't have the lines memorized for the normal mode. Oh, I could have gone for the skip. I was blessed with a mushroom. Okay, I'm focusing, I'm focusing. I'm not that sociable in real life. I don't go out very much, but anytime I do, I try and be as social as I can be. Like, I usually try and, like, have, like, little conversations with service workers. Or if I'm in, if I'm in like, a, lo a lift or a rideshare, I usually try and, like, hold a conversation with them. And I think the most annoying thing for me is if I'm trying to be nice and trying to talk to them, if they don't, like, try to talk back, I understand it's not a part of the job to like engage to that level, but it's just awkward. Like, you ever be in like an Uber or Lyft ride and the driver does not talk to you at all? And it's just awkward as all hell? It, it just feels weird. Because, like, the drivers who don't talk to you at all, I feel like they're gonna like actually do bad shit to me. When in comparison to the people who are nice, I feel like they're gonna be nice to me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Like, thankfully, I don't have the need to be out during the night times. So, like, I'm never gonna take, like, a ride share during night, because, like, that is fucking scary. But it's just, like, if I'm trying to, like... Okay, I know it's standard to, like, oh, ask, how's your day going? But anything past that is not required. Like, I got a bubble tea yesterday, and, like, I had a nice, like, little mini conversation with the worker there, and she was super nice and cute. Mind you, she was fucking cute, too. Because uh, we were talking about nails for a little bit. She had these fucking dope ass acrylics on. But I definitely appreciate the workers who do take that extra step to like hold a reasonable like mini conversation with me. <laughs> you feel uncomfortable if they do speak to you? Well, fuck. I guess Mac wouldn't talk to me then. <laughs> Shit. Oh, sorry. I clicked on my mic. <laughs> Was she missing two of the nails? No, she had all of her nails on. Mac, Pride Month is over. <laughs> if you know, you know. Hey, Chatter's new prediction is up. Go Gamba! I landed in the mud. Damn. You went all in for yes? Oh, go. Oh, somebody go all in for yes? Well, you went in for doubt. You just want to get their points. Kind of rude. <laughs> I think the most I've gambled in a prediction was 50k. Because I used to have 800,000 in Hassan's chat, but then I gambled 50k during an Among Us stream. And then he lost, so I lost 50k and I was upset. I mean, I don't think any of his channel for redemptions will like let you do stuff in stream anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But still, like, I lost my clout. Yeah, I agree, Mac. Being cute definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> Me want to talk to them more. I'm self reporting, but that is true. Have you ever started a conversation off of anxiety or awkwardness? Like, what do you mean? That's kind of an awkward question. <laughs> do you mean, like, if you're feeling awkward or if both parties are awkward? I feel like it just doesn't work. 
Like, I feel like there's basic social skills you need to have in order to, like, keep and maintain a conversation. I think one of the biggest things is, like, learning to not interrupt or, like, take over the conversation, which I know is something I need to learn. Well, I, I, I notice when I'm in VCs with friends, I do interrupt a lot, and the reason why I do that is because I feel like if I don't say my thought immediately, I'm gonna forget what I'm gonna say. Or it's gonna be deemed less important. And, like, another thing is, like, just learn to listen to people. Like, give them the adequate time to talk and speak their mind. That is another important aspect as well. <clears throat> I think another thing is, like, if you're trying to get small talk with people, like, if you're working in service or, like, talking to somebody new, they have to sound excited, I guess, when they talk to you. Like, without it being fake. I think it's the best explanation. Yeah, I, w I looked into it, and apparently people who interrupt a lot, um, it's associated with, like, ADD. To an extent. My small talk is so bad. I think the easiest conversation starter. Wait, I'll actually- hold. Wait, chatters, wait 10 seconds. I'm gonna clip this for later. Hold. <laughs> hold. 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 I think the best thing for small talk- it, this helps if you're like a girl too, like if you're like talking to a girl. Is like just compliment something that they're wearing, or if they have nails, be like, oh my god, your nails are cute or something. Or like, show me your nails or something like that. I think it's such like an easy way, because like you're showing that you're paying attention to what they look like. You're pointing out a specific thing that they probably like, put time and effort into. Like I find it's the easiest conversation starter. Because you're, you're obviously starting off nice. Just, okay, let me clarify. Don't be fucking weird when you make a goblin, okay? Just don't be weird, champ. Or, like, if you're talking to a guy, like, if I see, like, their shirt is cool or their hat is nice. Or, like, your hair is cool. Something like that. Like, just start off with a simple compliment. This is, like, if you're talking to a stranger. Or if you're working in service, it's a nice thing to, like, start off with. Cause like I said, I, I talked to that boba shop girl for a few minutes about nails. <laughs> Cause like, I think how the conversation went. I was like, oh my god, your nails are so cool! And she's like, yeah! And like, she showed them to me, and then I was talking about how... I used to work in food, and how I wasn't allowed to have acrylics or nails. And now that I don't work in food, I'm growing out my nails. And then, like, the conversation starts from there. I think how conversations work is you have one, I guess, starting point, and then you have to think of tangents from that point on to keep it going. But you also have to be willing to hold that conversation. If you notice that if you're talking to somebody new and they're not holding that conversation, they're not interested. So, like, don't push it too much. Because if you push it too much, then you're being weird. Okay, I would like to clarify this conversation starter is could be used for someone you're casually talking to or if you want to like it. If you like them, let's say. <laughs> okay, because my conversation style is very flirty. I do admit it, it is very flirty. <laughs> but I, I'm also not- I'm not trying to bang anybody. I- I just- I'm good at talking to people I have learned. <clears throat> Taking notes, yeah. Chat, take notes. <laughs> also, I say this and I never have had a girlfriend. So sad. Wait, is it gonna be Big Blue next? No. It's gonna be F0, I think, right? A mute city. Fuck, I was close. Okay, chatters, new predictions of Gogamba. Gogamba. Yeah, I would like to clarify to chatters, I goof and gaff, but I'm not flirting with anybody, any chatter individually, okay? Okay. I'm not your online girlfriend. <laughs> Isn't it kind of crazy to think there are, like, obviously mentally unwell viewers? 
who will think that their streamer or their YouTuber is like their girlfriend. Like, that to me is fucking insane. It's like, I understand you feel a connection, but like, you don't know them. They don't know you. It's like, you're never entitled to your creator's opinion either. Or input too. Oh! Oh shit, oh no, I just saw we had a pretty big margin for believe. Oh fuck, oh shit! Wait, is this mirror mode? Oh wait, I was like, I think I played this track on mirror mode the other day. I was like, this doesn't look that different. I should have held. Yeah, that's, I, that's why I think it's very important to establish boundaries early on when you're still like a small streamer. That's why I don't accept DMs. I don't... I, I don't give everybody attention, or like, I guess, special attention for the most part. Usually I do like banter a bit more with the people who are more active in chat or who have been here longer because I feel like I know their personalities a bit better than new chatters. So new chatters, don't feel bad if I don't acknowledge every single message you send. That's just how I need to like feel people out, you know? And thankfully, I haven't had any weird people yet. Let's go! Because everything I see and everything I do is done for a reason. And the main reason is to, like, protect myself and other people chatting, too. Because if you let one weird person stay in your chat room, then it's gonna weird everybody else, right? Like, I've been in a few small streams where, like, one chatter is, like, being really weird in the sense of essentially, like, hitting on or flirting with the streamer. And it's just like, bruh, how about you don't? You're not getting their attention. It's not positive attention either. Like, everybody just thinks you're a fucking creep. That's why, like, I don't appreciate when people, like, call me pretty or beautiful. Because, like, you're obviously itemizing me with those words. And also... Oh, no! No! Fuck, no! Oh no, oh no! <sighs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dude, I was doing so good! Oh no, I'm sorry, believers. I'm sorry, fuck. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, PSI27 for the believers. Easy points, bro. That's like the. I, I haven't lost in a long ass time, okay? What even happened? I got hit by an item, right? That's what fucked me up. God damn it. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Oh no, I really hope you didn't spend all your points, honey. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Mac. Like, when people tell me to do shit, it fucking annoys me. That's why, like, I will ignore those messages intentionally. Um, because obviously those people are baiting for attention. And it's like, I'm not gonna give you that. I think I literally posted a TikTok about that this morning. It's like, I'm not gonna... If you tell me to do shit, I'm not gonna do it if I don't want to do it. Like, I'm not gonna say something unless I want to say it. And I will be very blunt about it. And usually people get the hint. So. <clears throat> okay, any chatters want to change my character? Anybody? Because, like, I feel if I let that type of behavior happen in the chat room, then people are going to be like, hey, can you say this? Or read my message all the time, and it's annoying. It's like, I'm not here to dance for you. I'm not here to perform for you. I'm here to entertain everybody. So those type of chatters are very selfish. Anyway, anybody want to change the character? <laughs> okay, we're gonna stick with Mario. <clears throat> Read my message. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad you didn't spend all your points, Wolf, because that would be- that would be sad. If you lost them all, I would feel bad.
But I feel like the chatters who chat that way, they're definitely younger. They're either younger or lack social skills to a capacity. Because, like, I understand that my viewer demographic is mainly, like, teenager to young adult. And I understand people are still, like, learning that dynamic. But, hi, Kitty Lee. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, peace out to L. <laughs> It also just comes down to, like, emotional maturity as well. That's why, like, I try not to be too mean. Oh! <laughs> I just- I be blunt about it. But I'm not, like, mean mean about it. Cause, like, you ever see the clips of, like, streamers, like, popping off and, like, getting mad at chatters individually and, like, calling them out? I think it's wildly inappropriate. It makes you look like a, a fucking meanie. And it's like, I don't want to be mean to my chatters. Cause, like, I feel like most people are, like, well-intented. I feel like people don't intentionally try to be, like, annoying. Okay, I don't know how this race is gonna go, honestly. <laughs> Are you on mobile? Sad. Imagine watching Twitch on mobile, Katie. No, I won't get mad. We talked about this earlier. Like, I don't expect people to stay the whole time. That's fucking cringe. But I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us, even for a little bit. Call you out? No, I literally just said I don't call out chatters. <laughs> clip for drama. Oh shit, you right. Oh shit. Wait, isn't one of my chat rules no drama farming? I think that's literally chatters. Isn't that literally one of my rules, like word for word? Like no drama farming? <laughs> no, come on. I hate Baby Park. It's so unpredictable, like how you'll perform. Oh, I think first is too far ahead. I've fallen off. Oh, wait! Actually! No, fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry to hear that, Mac. Damn, that sucks. I hope it gets turned on soon. Okay, one of my, like... Oh, I almost put first. I'm sorry, doubters. I almost scammed you guys. Um... Mac is poor like me. Or they just have a poor electrical grid. Bruh. Wi-Fi is back, jammies. Let's go! Dude, I fucking hate this pre so much! The only good track on this pre is Animal Crossing. I'm alone. We, we surprisingly have a lot of mobile viewer Andes in my chat room. And it's kind of disappointing. I wish more people would watch on desktop. Okay, I understand if you don't have a computer, but also. The emotes are... Make Twitch so much better, honestly. Like, I was watching um, Connor Eats Pants on mobile last night. He was playing Cuphead, I think. He was actually doing pretty fucking good. But, like, I was, I was sad because I couldn't see my emotes, and I was like, damn. Chief's Line is still your favorite... That, that's gotta be one of your worst takes, Potato. Like, genuinely. I'm gonna hate this drag. How could anybody like this drag? Okay, I know some chatters who were here a few weeks ago. Do you guys remember the spider saga? Well, the spider's not there, but now there's a different spider. So that is concerning. I ate the spider. <laughs> I mean, aren't there like candies that have spiders in them? I've never had the opportunity to try like dried bugs. I want to though. Because you know, bugs are the future. Like, I'm not gonna buy a whole ass bag and not like them. Like, it feels like a waste. That's a big reason why I don't try new snacks or new food, because it's like. I'm gonna spend five bucks on a bag of chips and they taste like absolute dog shit! That's a big reason why, like, even when I go out to eat, I always try the same food. Or I don't try new stuff, I just get the same thing. Have I told chat about my cherries yet? A little bit. I think we talked- wait. Actually, I didn't, I didn't go into full detail, but chatters. Um, 
Oh, wait, I've talked about it in the past. Like, I think I have a few clips talking about it. But anyway, um, PD Lee is gonna make me a cherry pie. So we're gonna hang out later, and she's gonna. I'm gonna give her some cherries, and she's gonna make me a pie. And it's gonna be fucking sick. So I, I have that. I'm genuinely looking forward to that. Like, it's been a longest time since I've had, like, non store pie. Because, like, I've never tried to make a pie mount because it just seems way too difficult. But like, Katie's a fucking bro. No, cherry pie for me, Mac, not for you. I'm Cutie Lee's favorite. She's gonna do it just for me. <laughs> Wait, what did I get? I got first, right? We had nobody compete in the gambit, Sedge. I'll bring a pie to your mom. Plotus, my mom is diabetic, so she can't even eat it. <laughs> I mean, she can have a little bite, I guess, but she can't have too much. Okay, chatters, go gamba. New prediction is up. Oh, I hate the mirror mode in this track. <laughs> Dude, how does it not target Peach? She was literally right in front of me. Oh yeah, Cherry Cobbler is also pretty solid. We would always make Cherry Cobbler for our neighbors. Like, up until a few years ago. Because it was his favorite. <laughs> But I remember, they were an older couple, and I remember the wife would get upset because, you know, he can't have too much sugar. But we'd always make him a cherry cobbler over here. Katie, that would actually be fucking sick. I was gonna ask you if you could make a sugar-free version. Like, I was legit gonna ask you. But we'll talk about it more later, Katie. We'll talk about it more later. What if Katie just becomes a cooking streamer, like a baking streamer? Wouldn't that be sick, guys? You could just get like chill, cozy, um, Katie Lee mom vibes when she's just cooking in the kitchen. Hi, is mid moderator's bad Mac? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm clowning. I'm goofing. But okay. I love pie. Because I like cake too, but I feel like whenever I get cake, I want more frosting than cake. And I think pie is the perfect ratio of filling to crust. I like, I'm a big sucker for fruit flavors. I'm a big sucker for jam. Blue shell when? You're right, Ty. And there literally hasn't been any blue this race, I don't think. When in literally every single other race, there's been like 5 million. Maybe the computer is feels bad for me? Maybe? But, but Katie, imagine you make like- oh, Come on! Imagine you make like this super like cute like gardening- or not gardening, like a kitchen set. Wouldn't that be cute? And you just get like all these kawaii like kitchen accessories and tools and gadgets. I would watch that. Wait, look at our margin for doubt. Oh my god, 600? You don't like pie or cake? I think that's a problem. How can you not like either of those? Hi, Ethan. Welcome to stream. Desserts are so mid- Okay, dude. Okay. What is wrong with my chat room? Bad take. So many fucking bad takes in the chat right now. <laughs> I have leftover cake from Olive Garden from yesterday. Talking about desserts, whenever I go out to eat, like if I'm going to a sit-down restaurant, I always will order dessert early. Because, like, why not eat the sweets first? You know, it's always going to be guaranteed good. And by the time they bring up dessert normally, you're gonna be fucking full! And I, was, I asked my server, I was like, hey, can we get, like, the chocolate cake first? And she's like, oh yeah, no problem. 
And so, like, as our, like, main entrees were being cooked, like, she brought up the cake immediately. I was like, oh my god. So we ate, like, half of the cake before the entrees started. Granted, maybe that's why we didn't finish our full entrees, but, you know. It was like, once I tasted how good the cake was, I was, like, legitimately more excited for the entree. Because, like, I got a soup as an appetizer. It was kind of dog shit. It literally tasted like Campbell's soup. It was bad. Trying to do a healthy dessert thing? See, like, I've tried, like, getting, like, sugar-free or healthier dessert options, but it's, it's not the same. Like, if I'm gonna have a dessert, I'm gonna treat myself. Like, I can't do it. Like, getting sugar-free ice cream? Absolute oh, oh, It's horrid. It's so bad. <laughs> And like every single like sugar-free option for ice cream I've had, it tastes too gummy. Like the ice cream tasted chewy. It was fucking weird. It's almost like they put too much xanthan gum in their ice cream. It was, it was, it was bad. It's bad. Not a good time. Could have just been the restaurant. True. True. I I mean I feel like any type of restaurant chain where they have like franchises. Like, I feel like the quality is automatically going to be slightly worse. Because, like, a lot of, like, the sauces and soups, they're already, like, pre-made, pre-packaged. They just have to, like, heat it up, essentially. That's why, like, if I usually go out to eat, I will always try to go to, like, an independent place. Because I have, a, like, a greater... I feel like they would have, like, more fresh and greater, so then they would make stuff in-house every day. Here we got food production and another banana. I think sorbet is fine. Like, it's decent. I've made some pretty good sorbets. Cause I think one year we made a mango sorbet and then a cherry sorbet, because we used to make lavender ice cream every year. <laughs> Wait, what did I get? I got first, right? <laughs> I forgot. Oh yeah, I'm cheering. I got first. Wait, did I actually get second? No, you're capping. You are capping. Well, I can't undo the prediction. You were, you're literally capping, Titans. You are actually capping. Did I? <laughs> wait, no, wait, no. Mods, check the mod. I need a clip. It was first. It was first. No, wait. I don't like being gaslit. This is kind of mean. <laughs> And the mind games begin. Fuck! No, I know you're capping. I, I, I remember I got first. <laughs> I'm trolling you back. Yeah, because I got a second earlier. I got a second on a previous track. Cause I only got. Yeah, I, I actually do remember. I'm not. I'm not dum. <laughs> okay. Anybody want to change my character? Anybody? Because I got 57 points, meaning I got one second. And I, got, I know I got the second earlier. Really, really? Yes, really, really. If you were a wholesome chatter, you would confess to your sins, confess to your lie right now. Hey, anybody want to change? <clears throat> Daisy? Katie, you know how the stream works. You have to use your channel points. Confessing is for good people, yeah. So I guess you're not a good person. Got him. <laughs> Chatters, you gotta use your channel points. <laughs> Cutely <Cutie> clown. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Katie isn't here often. So she doesn't know the rules. You know what would be cool? Thank you for redeeming. Change my character, Katie. We'll do Daisy. Oopsie daisy! Katie trying to skirt the rules because she's a VIP SMH. Okay, um, we're nearly two hours in, so we probably got time for maybe one or two more praise. Well, you're saying if I'm a mod, you can avoid the rules. Well, the way it kind of works is like. I trust very few people to be a mod, so I can kind of tell when they're, like, being actually mean or joking. So, kind of. That's why you see, like, in even, like, big streamers' chats, too, like, mods get away with, like, a lot of shit. 
You can trust me, lol. Sure. Even though you just lied to me. Oh no, this dragon's gonna suck. Okay, this one's gonna be a guaranteed L. Because the only reason why I'm good at this track is because I have the lines memorized. Okay, I'm gonna focus. Nobody distract me. I'm fucking cracked at this course. Let's see if I can get this line. First try. Oh wait, this is 150. It's obviously gonna be easier. Ah! I got scammed! Robbed! Hey, look at that, guys. I actually nailed that line. Fucking crazy. Yeah, the best way to distract me is to sub with Prime, chatters! Exclamation Prime in the chat room! It is Prime Day, y'all! <laughs> That's the only thing that'll make me look a jet. Someone hate Crimey! <laughs> no, chatters, don't do it. Don't listen to that. They're trolling. I mean, the best they can do is maybe peace I do punch. But that's it. Peace can do anything? Yeah, just like I did your mom. Got him! Okay, I had to do a your mom joke because Katie's never here, so, you know, I had to get her one time. Okay, not that she's never here. That was mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> awkward. Dude, how did I get a bubba bomb in first place? That's really rare. Wait, chatters, look how insane my lead is right now. Okay, there's a blue shell, there's a blue shell. How dare you? <laughs> it's all jokes, it's all jokes. All the comedy. You know, I should be nicer to Kiruli because she is making me food. I just realized that. I should be nicer to her. Like, she's she's literally cursing me. She's like one of those Christy, crystal mommy witches on TikTok where they, where they fucking curse you. You know, we had a majority doubters this time. Shoutouts to my believers because I fucking nailed that course. That was fucking crazy. She's gonna claim it's sugar free when it's not. Okay, that would actually hurt my mom and not me. That would hurt her and not me. And that's kind of mean. <laughs> funny numbers. Okay. Gambaing funny numbers is pretty fun. I will be honest. I do it sometimes. But I know for me, for predictions, I usually gamble like 1k. I think 1k is a decent amount. I feel like all the tracks in this pre are ones that I have to concentrate in. Because they're all fairly difficult. Like, the lines are crazy. Yeah, honestly, I'm probably pre-diabetic as well, so I probably should not be eating as much sugar, too. Because I think my, my grandpa and then my aunt are also diabetic. So, I'm probably the next one! So, I'm enjoying the sugar while I'm allowed to have it. <laughs> and also, I'm choosing not to get tested. <gasps> Lightning bolt did not matter, because I, I would've gotten hit by a shell anyway. Daisy has fucking trash luck in the game. I've gotten bombarded with shells this map. 
We got a new Switch controller? Was it a Pro controller or new Joy-Cons? I was like, okay, I seriously, I need to get a new Pro controller. Because this one, this one is mine. It's starting to, like, glitch out. You guys have seen it on stream sometimes, but, like, it'll, like, disconnect randomly sometimes. And it is concerning. I do have a backup, like, I do have my sister's Pro controller I can use. But I need to get a new one. That is on next month's... That'll be a next month's budget. <laughs> Joy-Cons are trash. Uh, I think they're fine. I used to, like, rag on Joy-Cons all the time, but then I played it with Ball Guys the other day and it wasn't that bad. Was it a third-party controller? I've considered getting third-party controllers, but I'm scared that they won't work. Hi, Panini. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Yeah, I know that Joy-Con drift is a thing. I don't know if I've experienced it too much, but... I don't know. Like, I I've shown chat before, but my controller... See right here? There's tape on it because I tried to put, like, a third-party case on it. And the screws wouldn't come off, so the, like, the hand grips are kind of loose. And there's nothing I can do about it. Or more compact than a pro controller? Hmm. <clears throat> Hi, Melka. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today, hon. Guys, I got another W. Fucking easy clap. Okay, yeah, I thought you said a bad word, Titans, and I was like, sus. <laughs> Oh, nice. Congrats, Wolf. Nice. I got so- Okay, I was playing Fall Guys earlier, and I was literally so fucking close to a dub. I was in the, I was in the final round. There was three people left. I fucking fell off the stage, and I got so mad. I was like, no! You should make a sus emote. Well, we do already have sussy, right? Um, I don't know. I kind of wanted to make an Among Us one. But I I don't know. I got my Connor six inches emote, and then I think it was fine. Cause like I told myself, okay, I don't want to call anybody out, but I get super annoyed as a viewer if somebody's sub emote is just a seven TV emote. Like I saw a channel, and one of their sub emotes was just Pepe hands, and it's like bruh. You have a limited amount of emote slots, why are you using a Pepe emote that is already in existence through third-party extensions? Like, I would feel like it's a waste of an emote slot when you already have some limited, especially when you're an affiliate, too. Because I feel like all of my emotes, they have a purpose behind them. Like, there's always going to be a reason in which you can use them. Like, Pepe hands? Like, bruh. That's making lame as hell! Like, I'm fine if people make, like, copycats, like, if they make their own version of Pepe Hands or whatever. Like, a, their own version of a Pepe Pose emote. But it's like, if you're gonna use the actual fucking Pepe, it's like... Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a waste. That, that's what it can boil down to, a waste. Yeah, I agree. And, like, okay. I think half of their sub emotes were just Pepe emotes. Which is, like, you can- if you have a fucking third-party extensions, you can get those for free. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Because I didn't sub, I got a gifted sub from the channel, and I saw it, and I was like, bro, these emotes are fucking lame. Anyway, that's my hot take. But honestly, not too hot take. Like, it's, it's reasonable. So, if, if anybody in chat has those type of emotes for sub emotes, just change them for the love of God. Put something else better. You spilled, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, it's not just one channel doing it. I see several channels who do that. Like, it, it's fucking- WHY AM I IN FOURTH PLACE?! WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENED?! Dude, I fell off. <laughs> oh, Wilvers, I hate that stage. Like, what people do on that stage is that people, like, run around intentionally breaking the ice and it fucking pisses me off. It's just, like, the hex levels, like... I don't like them. Oh, uh, Wolf, you were gifted a sub, so some of the emotes are sub only. <laughs> the one time I did not game, I was literally gonna say, I'm surprised Titans didn't doubt this time, because they would have 
probably gotten a pretty good margin, but you know what? Oh! I almost put one. Oopsie. I'm so used to pressing- I won the game that I pressed it by accident. <laughs> damn! Damn, damn, damn. You know what else sucks? Watching ads on Twitch. Because, chatters, we are in another hour in the stream, so... It is time for me to run a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad breathing all month long. Or, oh, hi Kirby, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. You came in right at the ad break, fuck. <laughs> but, chatters, it is also Prime Day. So if you have an Amazon Prime account, link your Twitch account to your Prime and get a free Prime sub. It's fucking free, guys. And Twitch is doing a special promotion. If you buy a $100 gift card, you get 20% off. Meaning, you spend 80 bucks, you get $100. Crazy. I'm not sponsored. It's just a pretty fucking insane coupon. Um. <laughs> uh, so, chatters, chatters. An ad is coming. Get some water, get a snack if you need it. After the break, we're going to finish this last race and then switch gears to Animal Crossing. So if you like more just chatting vibes, if you want more, I get I have more time to talk to chat, stick around. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> so what you're saying is all in yes, chatters. This is going to be the last race of the day. We'll continue this run next week. But yes, I expect chatters to go all in. Oh, it is Big Blue. This one's a toss-up. I'm either cracked a Big Blue, or I'm dog shit. Um, but Woof, you are kind of right. We do have free follower-only emotes, and then the sub-emotes are a premium. So, some of them are free, and some of them are paid. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna win this one. Oh my god, 1.9k in doubt! Who went all in? Was it actually you, Titans? Oh, this is mirror mode. I forgot. Red shell, easy. Get fucked. Let's get some coins so we can go faster. I usually don't go up that path, but that path is pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Dude, that's the first time I've done that. It's been a long ass time since I forgot to switch scenes. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> Dude, okay, okay. I appreciate you guys telling me. I also appreciate when you guys point out when there's any, like, tech issues, or, like, if my cam shuts off. Because, like, you ever be in a stream where they're fucking muted and nobody in the chat room says anything and they got, like, six viewers and it's like, bro. You have several people here and they're not saying anything. It's like, how- they're the ones who are missing out on the entertainment, right? <laughs> I'm also- okay, I'm getting in a habit of, um... Fuck! Not looking at the chat room as much when I'm playing, like, faster-paced games. So that's why it took me, like, ten seconds for me to see your messages, so I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Oopsie! Oh, I hate the purple bath. Wait, actually, I like the purple bath. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. But wait, I dodged the lightning? Actually lucky. Hey guys, look, I'm insanely, there's literally no way I don't get first. Actually no way. <laughs> I'm on something. <laughs> Well, if you unsub, you lose your multiplier, so you'll ultimately get less points. Lamau. Well, look at that! Chat, look at that! Look at that! Damn, 80% doubt, Sag. This is a pyramid scheme? I guess, kind of. Boss gets a dollar, I get a dime. Chat gets pennies. <laughs> Damn. I want to see who actually believed this time. We had four believers. Let's go. They got 2k cumulative. Nice. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> oh, I got a one-star gold trophy? Fuck, dude. I think it's because I got, like, 
A second and then a fourth. I actually threw in that pre, but that pre is in general pretty difficult. I have a measly 34 points. Damn. You know what? I would say don't go all in, but why not? It's fun. It's free points. It's free points. Hey, Chad, a gentle reminder. I do have a new channel bar reduction, so at the end of stream, if anybody redeems by then, I'll make a sketch card. It's only 1,500 points. Almost at 5k. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so, chat. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. So like I said earlier, if you are new to stream how Animal Crossing works, it's more just chatting, more time for me to talk to chat one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to switch out the game cartridge, so stick around. i got to change my title and shit, so don't worry. <clears throat> Hold. Wait, I have to put the game in. I was going to open the game without the cartridge being in, lol. Well, just don't gamble next time. Easy clap. All your problems are solved if you just don't gamble. <laughs> I have so much to do on my island today. Because yesterday I didn't get home from the theaters till like 7.30. And then I had to... Oops. Then I had to water the garden, so I didn't have time to take care of my island yesterday. I kind of neglected it. Sag. We have a lot to do today. <clears throat> yeah, I think stream's gonna be good. We got lots of stuff for later, so. Okay, what should we change our title to? Hmm... He sighed too. Hmm. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, Kirby. I appreciate you coming in and saying hi. Oh, there it is. For some reason, it wouldn't let me change the category, but we're fine now. <clears throat> okay. Now we're all set up. <clears throat> yeah, Animal Crossing is definitely a really fun game. I would say if you haven't played it, I would definitely start playing it now. Because I think all of the updates and DLC were finished like last year, right? So basically you have a full game. So you haven't already- I would say get into it. Oh wait, fuck chatters, I forgot to- I have to post a TikTok. <laughs> God damn it, I forgot. Because I usually post it during the second ad break. Okay, well, I'm going to do that now real quick. I'm trying to be like the big streamers who post during their live. Okay, it's uploading chat. <laughs> If you aren't already, go follow my TikTok. You'll see funny haha -ha clips from stream. Anyway, it's uploading. Okay. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Tiblin, it is 1.13 p.m. on Tuesday, July 12th, 2022. This may not count as news, but I do have a cautionary tale of sorts to share. Occasionally, residents complain that they purchased a work of art, only to later realize it's, well, fake. 
We all know that the figs were purchased from a boat anchored along the northern shore. What you do with your bells is your business, is your business. but I ask that you please be wary of this boat. Stay vigilant. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Okay, chat, that TikTok, TikTok is now up. Go like it. Go leave a comment. Tell me what made you laugh. <clears throat> oh, look at me. I changed my fit yesterday. Isn't it cute? It's like this nice summer day dress. Okay, like I said, we have a lot of shit to do. Oh, chatters! Before we start Animal Crossing, I do have a gentle reminder. Meg Esports is presenting their first Animal Crossing playing viewer streams on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. So at 11 a.m. PST, we will be inviting viewers to the island and you will participate in a series of cooking challenges. As you can see here, this is the Meg Esports kitchen. And viewers will compete for bells, so that'll be this Sunday. Check out that Twitter thread for more info. Okay, I think it's, that's all. <laughs> that's announcement time over. Oh, wait. Here we go. It's also announced in-game, too. <laughs> right, right here. <laughs> Another, like, shittily doodle flowers, too. Oh, Yuka's birthday is the 20th. What day is that? What fruit do I need again? Oranges and peaches. Okay, let us get started. Well, I think today... Oh, yeah, I need to harvest all my trees. Oh, my God. Yes, I love when they have cooking recipes. I'm trying to get them all. <clears throat> yeah, um, in that Twitter thread, Wolf, if you click on it, I linked. Um, oh, if you don't have the game, it might take a while. So maybe. But in that Twitter thread, I linked an article that explains what you need to unlock the cooking recipes. So you might have time, maybe. I don't know. Okay. If you want to hang out, I'll have to. D It'll have to wait till after I'm done making this tasty mess. What you making? I got hit by a monster-sized craving earlier, so I decided to make myself some peach jam. If you want to make your own, I got the recipe right here. I'm kind of not using it. <laughs> I think this is the third time I've gotten gifted peach jam, so I think I have two extra recipes. Does she sleep on the rose? Yeah, I think it's a rose bed. Hi, Caspian. Welcome to stream. You never got the notif? Damn. Make sure you have notifications turned on, and if they don't work, turn them on and then- or turn them off and then on. Sometimes Twitch notifs are kinda iffy. Yeah, I love how all the cute furniture in the game is. I love the floral, I love the fruit furniture a lot. Feels like it's quirky, it's fun. Because when I was younger, my sister and I used to share a room, right? And then every few months we'd have a theme. I think we had a fairy theme. We also had a jungle theme. So my mom got all these like jungle animals, stuffed animals. And then she like put up fake vines in the room. What else did we have? I think we also had like an underwater theme. Like we had all types of cool like <laughs> figurines and stuff when I was little. Like she would like get all these cheapy decorations from the Dollar Tree and she would like make stuff out of paper too. Cool shit. When do you get to unlock the cooking portion of the game? In that Twitter thread, I'll link it again. Um, there's a full walkthrough on how to unlock the DIY recipes, so go ahead and check out the Twitter thread. And like I said, it links you to a walkthrough article that explains how to unlock the cooking. Oh, fuck! <laughs> God damn it. I know, I think they added cooking last year. It wasn't part of the initial game. And I think the cooking is such a fun mechanic. It's not necessarily as profitable as crafting. Um, you're fine, Benita. You're fine. Megan said a swear. Did I? I mean, I swear because I don't care. We're not. We're not doing the no swearing stream just yet. Like I said, that's 50 subs, baby. I can curse as much as I want to. <laughs> 
it was cool because like we weren't allowed okay we we own the house so, like we're allowed to paint and stuff but what my mom would do she like she would hang um butcher paper on the wall and we could like paint the butcher paper so that was pretty fucking cool um because she volunteered with our school so like she would get like the leftover butcher paper or she would have access to like the big ass rolls of butcher paper sometimes i don't know if she was supposed to take it home but you know that was years ago it doesn't matter we should be able to swear like you well okay um i've thought about like uh how can i say it because a lot of my um moderation functions i do have people like in the chat room i tell them to lurk because we talked about this before but if you see a chat room and the mods are really active then people are more inclined to act up or they're less inclined to act up so like if people see that mods aren't active in the chat room then they will like show their true colors let's say so um uh, yeah mods are scary they are pretty powerful uh anyway anyway <laughs> So, like, I've thought about, like, restricting cursing more because, like I said in the chat rules, all cursing will be automated, meaning it'll automatically be reviewed for context. Because I understand if people say bad words, it's fine, it's whatever, it's like, as long as you're not targeting towards someone. But if somebody, like, actually says a bad word where they're like, Megan, you're fucking stupid, then that's not nice. That's bully behavior, so then that person would get a timeout or something, right? Um, I thought I was the only one who's scared of mods. No, mods are scary. I, okay. I do have a chatter to where, like, I goof, I gaff, I accidentally chopped the tree down. Rick. But, um, I, I definitely hold back a lot of my jokes. <laughs> jokes. Let me put them in quotations. Jokes. Like, they're not funny. If you don't have the context for them, right? Because, like, I understand, like, people are being sarcastic for the most part, but you have to think about, at its core, what makes a joke funny, right? I don't know why I'm doing the accent right now, but... Because, like, I, I think a big reason why I'm kind of firm on those type of jokes for the most part, like, I understand people goof and gaff, but I understand, like, looking back at my friends in school, they weren't very nice people. Um, and it's like, I don't want to tolerate that anymore. That's why, like, I appreciate when, like, chatters are nice, they're wholesome. I understand some people goof and gaff, but be respectful to an extent. Like, I don't want all of your chat messages to be bullying me, you know? That's not cool. Like, even if you think you're joking from an outside perspective, even not just me and other chatters, people think you're just being fucking mean. The best thing about this stream is that cuss words aren't being said often. Honey, we were just like Mario Kart. <laughs> and I know you're kind of new to stream, Wolf, but I curse a lot more. Let me promise you that. <laughs> but thank you. I, I try. Okay. It's not that I try and hold back. I, cause like, I know I personally, I think cursing is funny. I think it's entertaining. Cause like, I grew up with that type of content on YouTube. Cause for me, when I started watching YouTube, that's when like, fuck. I'm frick. That's when like, gaming was popping off. So like, cursing was the entertainment, right? So I kind of grew up with that era. But I'm, I, I will always use cursing lightly. Like, it's never going to be like, actually targeted or like, actually mean towards someone. Like, I think the most targeted cursing I will do is, like, I will say, oh, fuck you, this chatter. But it's never, like, actually malintent. Like, I will just say it jokingly. You know, I'm goofing, I'm gaffing. That's why, like, I say, like, if there's any time where, like, I say a joke directed at an individual chatter, let's say, and it hurts your feelings, like, please tell me and I'll fix that behavior. Because it's not appropriate to isolate people. Or keep being mean. Okay, I forgot to grab more axes. Yeah, that's how my sister is too, Potato. Like, 
She doesn't mind when I curse, but she never curses herself. Like, <laughs> we'll be we playing games together and like, I curse a lot because I think it's funny. But then, I will talk to her after, I was like, was I cursing too much? She's like, you know, it's fine. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. She, she just doesn't like when I use cursing, like, in a mean way. Okay, because, like, I do name call, so sometimes I'll be like... Oh, like, you're, you're fucking stupid for missing that move. And, like, I understand that's mean, that's not nice, but, like, I never say it, like, actually mean. But she has expressed to me that saying it too much does get to her, so, like, I try and tone it down a bit, because, like, that's not cool. It's also one of the habits that I'm trying to break. Because, like I said, I think cursing is funny, but I understand to some individuals it can be offensive. So I, I try to respect it based on whoever I'm interacting with. And also, I would like to say, I'm never going to censor myself to, like, I guess, appease an audience in the sense of, like, let's say chatters are like, Megan, you should never curse again. It's inappropriate. It's like, well... You can't tell me what to say. Like, it's not like it's being extremely hurtful. Like, imagine some chatter's mom on Facebook is like, you know, peace and underscore 17 on Twitch is bad because they girls all the time. It's like, whatever. Like, it's not like I'm promoting bad behavior. The only bad behavior I kind of promoted was sneaking food into the theater, but that's fine. That's harmless. You know, I just wanted some Olive Garden, okay? <laughs> but I will never advocate for behavior that will harm yourself or harm others or be hurtful. Because I have the understanding, like, even if I do have a very small platform relatively to people who are similar in size to me, you still have power with your influence. Because I understand there are some chatters who will see their mentality and the morale differently based on things I've said. Because, like, I think I have- I we have had periods where we talked about more, like, sociological issues and that type of thing. And I feel like some people's perspectives have changed after we've had discussions and stuff. <laughs> but I will never advocate for violence. I will never advocate for actually bad behaviors. Because, like I said, even if I have a small platform, people are still listening to you, they're still engaging with you, they're still gonna believe what you say. And I think that's very important to remember. That's why my morality has not changed, even when I had zero viewers. I was always saying the same things. I had the same POV. Because if your perspective changes in the sense of morality when you gain an influence or gain a massive following, then that's a problem. You need to acknowledge that your perspective shifting for that reason is not how it should be. Like, you should be a good person from the get-go. I don't know. Well, you're used to a friend cursing a lot? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, I know when I was younger, I used to hate cursing. I thought it was like the worst thing you could do. But then once I hit like late middle school, I was like... It doesn't matter. If I'm not being mean about it, it's fine. <laughs> I think that's another reason why some people don't like me, because at my core, I think recently as well, I've become a lot more brazen. I've become a lot more straightforward because I don't want people to misinterpret what I'm saying. And I think it's better to be blunt than have people trying to assume what you're actually trying to say. Especially online when it's so easy to misinterpret because you don't have tone indicators or you hear like an out of context clip. I see that a lot on TikTok all the time because, like, I'll get some comments and, like, well, what you're saying is kind of, like, not right. And I was like, well, keep in mind, this is a one-minute clip. Like, I'm not gonna have you watch, like, a six-minute breakdown about my opinions. Like, nobody would watch that. I mean, I bet some people would, but not a lot of people would sit through the whole thing. That's why I think it's important you don't take things at surface level, like, always listen to what people fully have to say when you're forming opinions about them. Mm -hmm. 
been so easy to skew the trust online. That's true. Like, I feel like people online... Th there's two sides to it. Like, people are either too skeptical in the sense of, like, they will believe most any conspiracy theory they hear. And there's also people who are very gullible. Who will believe anything they hear, no matter how outlandish or anti-science it might be. And... There are reasons why people align on both sides. And I feel like it comes down to, like, you have to be willing to look outside your own perspective and lived experience to try and understand why some people feel the way they do. And, like, be willing to hear new information as well. Because there's been times where I've had to check my privilege. There's been times where I've had to change my perspective after hearing different stories. And that's fine. At its core, you have to be willing to hear and learn new things. Let me clarify, I have never <laughs> been bigoted, okay? It's just like, I think one thing I didn't really understand was class issues. Oh, okay, we're not gonna get too political. But like, um, one of the main issues with American society tempor or contemporarily is issues along class lines concerning like poverty, homelessness, and how the middle class has essentially there's not a lot of middle class people because people who think they make 40 to 50k a year even though you're above the poverty line you're still working as many hours as someone who's living along poverty line right poverty i think in the u.s is like 35k or 40k i think that's poverty level so if somebody is working full-time minimum wage you are at poverty level income wise and it's unfortunate that people cannot live comfortably in a first world country that to me is insane that is crazy. Um, <laughs> where else can I go? Oh, so like it took me a long time to like fully understand that I have always lived with a roof over my head. I have always lived, yes, at the poverty line, but um, like I've been eligible for like free lunch, reduced lunch. I've never been eligible for food stamps. I don't think I have to actually ask my mom about it. Because I think we were at, like, the income level to qualify, but she never requested them. Um, because, like, it was a pride thing, right? Like, imagine talking to your middle-aged housewives and they're like, Ooh, I get food stamps. It's, it's it's shamed upon when you get government benefits to an extent. And it's unfortunate that people see it that way. When you should be grateful that your government is giving you something to help support you. When in America, there is not a lot of support. There is not a lot of support. Um... Anyway, where was it going? Okay, so my main point was, it took me a long time to understand that a lot of issues nowadays are class-related in terms of, like, income and your lived experience, in terms of, like, where you grew up. Like, if somebody lives in Washington, their lived experience is probably wildly different than somebody who lives in, like, Alabama, right? In terms of, like, the actual living environment, what area of the state they live in. And it took me a while... A few years ago, mind you, I, this was a few years ago, like when I was like entering college where like I learned that people either have access to more privilege than I do or I had more privilege than them based on where I lived or where I grew up. Like hearing people's stories, their experiences, that helped change my perspective drastically. And I feel like it was for the better. Like that's why I personally will always advocate for more resources and programs to help support people who are less privileged in the sense of like not having access to like reliable food or like reliable housing because my main thing this perspective is what helps change people's mind whenever i talk to them about like homelessness and affordable housing i genuinely don't think people who are homeless want to be homeless the people who have that take are fucking stupid because story time um one of my dad's friends he's a veteran right he had one of his um <clears throat> what do you call it what do you call it like one of his veteran friends stayed with us for a little while because he was homeless and he ch his friend chose to leave our house because he wanted to be on his own so there was a period where his friend was homeless and my dad had the opinion of well he chose to leave the house he chose to like get out of our care therefore he chose to be homeless and i was like yes Simply put, he did choose to leave, but there there was not enough resources to help him help support him. Because imagine this. Anybody who says people choose to be homeless, imagine this. 
Imagine you lose your job. Imagine you can't afford to be in your house. Imagine you have no friends to couch surf on. That is not your choice. That is just circumstantial. It's unfortunate that it happens, but that's just how life is sometimes. So, like, imagine if that happens to you, right? Would you not want to be supported by your government if that happened to you, right? Like, it's just, like, all these unfortunate circumstances have to happen for most people to be homeless. And it's, like, imagine if you got to the point you had no support. Or, like, people looked down on you. Or, like, people would shun you. Like, it's not cool. It's not nice to think that people won't support you. Because there's been times where, like, I was close to being homeless. Whether it be, like, family issues or just income related. And I think to myself, if that ever happened, I wouldn't be here. Like, I legit would not be here. And it's sad to think that people will not advocate for those who are lesser off than them. That's my opinion. The ultimate I score... In terms of social issues, you have to think about if you had to live through that experience. That's it. That That's the main thing. <clears throat> yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Mocha. I, I read your message. But, like, YouTube? There's, like, I've seen analysis videos in, like, like the alt-right pipeline. And it's, like, a lot of those issues concerning, like, human rights, sexism, that type of shit. A lot of people who fall down that line of tr that line of thought, um, they usually agree with one thing, right? And then that one thing will lead them to more negative or more extremist ideologies. So I think it's very important to like, if you see a friend changing their perspective towards that direction, definitely like try and meet a middle ground, and then give them a perspective that you agree on and then you don't agree on to like kind of give them both sides. Because you don't want people to fall down that cycle of negativity or, like, bigotry. And it's very easy when you only consume one type of media as well. No, I don't want to go to your house. I don't want to hang out. I have shit to do. Not right now, bitch. <laughs> like I said, issues concerning social issues or politics. Ultimately, try and put yourself in the other person's shoes. And do you think you would appreciate to be treated that way if that was how you lived? You preached the organization of my island? Really? It's fucking dog shit. <laughs> my island is trash right now. The only thing organized is this tools section. I've gotten a few compliments on the tools section. Everything else I need to fix. <laughs> uh, anytime I play Animal Crossing and Cuter Leaves in chat, she's like, look at all those items just on your island. Look at all this random shit. And I'm like, you're right, but also I don't have time to fix that. Okay, the reason why I have fish outside place like this is I have to donate these, and I usually batch donate. And then this one, I have to put in my storage, but my storage was full last night. I did upgrade it last night, so I should have like a few hundred more spaces, but still. Don't shit on me, chatters. <laughs> also, we, okay. Was that a good tangent I went on? I feel like it's too preachy sometimes. Because I do understand um, there will be times where I do go into heavier topics. Like, that wasn't too heavy in my... my it wasn't too crazy in my opinion. Because I, I feel like a lot of my ideologies, it, it comes down to just increasing and changing your perspective. Because, like, I know I'm not known for, like, pol politics or social issues, so I just feel like... Like, I'm not... It's not that I'm scared to talk about things, it's just I don't want people to be, like, contrarians. Because anytime you talk about... The reason why people ban politics talks in their chat rooms is because people come in to argue. And it's like... I'm indifferent, I'm indifferent. Yeah, this is the sunfish, I think. It's funny, isn't it? That's why I'm leaving it out, because it's funny. <laughs> um, like I said, people will, like, argue with you. And I feel like the people here are pretty lefty, so I don't think we got any fucking lip cards in here. Oh, how do you drink bottled water? Is it weird? Okay, I know when I was little, I remember we were going to Winko one day. 
And my parents, they bought me a vitamin water and I was drinking it. Like, you know, like vitamin waters have like that big ass bigot. Um, so we were driving on the highway and there was like a pothole and the car like jumped and I got vitamin water all over my white shirt. Of course I wear white. So ever since then, it's bad. It's bad. I'm not going to show you guys because it's bad. Anytime I drink from a bottled drink, I put my whole mouth along the, the, the cap, the open part. Um, so even if it's like a big ass Gatorade or big ass vitamin water, I put my whole ass mouth along the outside the opening. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's bad. It, it'll look wildly inappropriate if I show you guys, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys. That's why I drink from a cup. Cause like, no way my mouth is fitting around this. Fuck, uh, uh that sounds bad. I don't know if I can support this fuck. Okay, un, un sub Mac. <laughs> No! Oh no! You're literally said the same thing I said, Caspian. Oh fuck! Oh no! It's not just me. Like I said, I was scarred that one day where I spilled bright pink vitamin water all over my white shirt, so I had to walk around Winko with a fucking dirty ass shirt. I mean, granted, that's expected of a little eight year old, but still, I was embarrassed. I'm genuinely confused. I don't think it's normal, Caspian. I think we're like the odd ones out here. <laughs> I used to do that too. Okay. We got three people. We have one chatter, i.e. Max saying it's fucking weird, champ. Well, obviously you've never spilled on yourself, Max, so... You thought most people do that? I don't think most people do that. <laughs> I don't think most people do it. Chat is weird, yeah. I feel like everybody has to be a little bit weird if you're watching Twitch.tv, though. Let's be honest. I feel like Twitch is the most degen video platform. Or you have the most degen like chatters or viewers, so. You're not gonna do that with a bottle? Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> I, I don't do it as much anymore, I will admit. I don't do it every time. I feel so left out. No, no, no. We got some chatters and then myself who admitted to it, so it's not just you. <clears throat> No, I don't do that in public. No, no, no. I keep that for home. <laughs> oh, also, I added bridges the other day. See, now I don't need the... Unique viewers today. <laughs> unique viewers, like, huh? <laughs> I mean, I think the bigger question, Caspian, is like, do people stare at you when you do it? If they don't, then you're fine. Nobody gives a shit, honestly. I genuinely think in public, people do not care what you do as long as you're just not weird or inappropriate. Like, there's been times where my dad will, like, deadass change his pants or his shorts in public. Like, if he's fixing the car, like, in the parking lot, like, he'll change his shorts to sweatpants. And nobody gives a shit. Like, as long as you're not indecent, like, I don't think it generally matters. Like, it's still weird, but it's not that crazy. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I guess it is weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, there's been a few times where my dad... He's like, can I come on your stream? Like, can I join your broadcast? I'm like, no. It's fucking weird. Because, like... My dad, I definitely get my social skills from him because, like, he's naturally charismatic. Like, he can talk to anybody. Like, he's the kind of guy who, if he's out at the bus stop, he will talk to some random stranger for, like, 20 minutes. And they'll have, like, a good conversation. But also, like, he's kind of unhinged. Like, he'll probably say some wild shit. That's why I'm never doing a stream with family members. I think that's cringe. And, like, that's also why I'm kind of hesitant to doing collab streams as well. Because, like, I can control what I say and what I do. But I can't control what the other person says or does. So that's why, like, I don't do collab stuff as much. Like, I think the collab stream we did with Kudali was, like, my first official one, I think. Hi, Blaine! Welcome to chat! First stream, let's go! But hi! Hope you're doing well today, hun. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. You came in on a weird stream. We're having some good conversations. <laughs> I'm glad you like the TikTok. 
<laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah, everybody say hi to Blaine. New chatter. Oh, did I get any new flowers? Let's say. Ooh! I got some, oh, finally some more. I'm finally getting more purple pansies. I think it's because I'm actually trying to water my flowers every day now. Like, actually trying to. Oh, yesterday, last night, I stayed up till. I stayed up till 11 30 playing Fall Guys because they had one of those time challenges. Okay, but like I said, I'm not watering the garden in the morning anymore, so like I'm getting more sleep, but eat him? Okay, no problem. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. Do what? Talk in the chat room? You can talk in the chat room. Oh, you're saying you guys are both new. Oh, you guys are so cute. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of new chatters in the month of June and July so far. Like I said, most- okay, type a one in chat if you found me on TikTok. I- is anybody not a TikTok frog? Like, I think the only other social media platform I've gotten people from is Hover. But otherwise, everybody is literally like a TikTok frog. <laughs> no talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, if, if chatters don't want to talk, we can go in emote only mode if somebody wants to redeem that. Most people pour it in their mouth? No, that's weird too. I feel like a normal person. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show the motion because it's cringe. Hey, thank you for redeeming potato chatters. You know what time it is. It's time for chatters to shut the fuck up for five minutes. <laughs> I love this redemption, it's so nice. Cause I can say whatever I want and chatters can say anything. It's epic, dude. <laughs> the jail. <laughs> yes, it chatters. You can spam as much as you want now. Because you can only do emotes. Let's go. You know what would be cool? If one of you guys actually tried to do Pictionary or some shit... Like, I think one of my favorite things that you guys will put in the chat room is, like, ice, lemon, vanilla. You guys will put an ice cube, lemon, and then ice cream. I think it's so funny. <clears throat> I think that's everything that can go in storage. Yeah, so chatters, if you are new to chat or new to stream, we do have follower-only emotes that are free to use. So feel free and use those. You don't have to sub to use the follower emotes. Dude, I am so happy that I unlocked follower emotes. I thought, because there's certain, like, um, credentials you have to meet to, in order to be eligible. But I think it was Katie that told me that you, sometimes you can't get them right away. So I'm glad I got them right away when I was eligible. Because I, I understand that not necessarily can afford to sub and that's totally fine. But I'm glad that now we have emotes that everybody can use. So, that's pretty poggy. Okay, the reason why I'm placing the bugs outside of the house and not in my storage is because I like to batch put them in my storage. And I have like a checklist on my phone of what animals I have in my storage already, so that's why I'm doing this. Nobody question mark me. Oh wait, you can't because you can't type in chat. <laughs> Dude, can we be an emo only all the time? Okay, but honestly, honestly, wouldn't it be kind of off-putting if he went into a stream and they're in emote-only mode? Because, like, I think the only time I've seen emote-only mode be used is if they're getting, like, a hate raid or some shit. Or, like, if chatters are just being, like, brain-dead and annoying. So, that's why I have this overlay on screen now. <laughs> that way, if anybody does come in during the redemption, that people know that it's intentional. It's not like we're getting raided. So... 
It's all for fun. <laughs> Peace I2 L. <laughs> I think Peace I2 L has to be my favorite follower emote. Yes, chatters will most likely abuse it in the future, but I think it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. Okay, chatters, since we're in emote only mode, can you put your favorite animated or hype emote in the chat room? What's your favorite emote? I want to see it. Actually, what is my favorite emote? Let's see. Of my, like, sub emotes, I think Peace I 2 vibe is pretty solid. Out of all of my regular emotes, let's see. Hmm. I think, ooh. Paws Slam is pretty solid. Also, Connor Eats Pants, Connor Six Inches, the <laughs> Among Us, is pretty good. Okay, the reason why I'm sub to Connor Eats Pants is just to have that Among Us emote. It's so good. It's totally worth the $5. Actually, I think Connor gets my Prime sub. I'm considering subscribing to Maya because she has- she has such good people emotes. Like, they're so good. Like, whoever designed her people branding, on point, is so cute. So I, I might sub to Maya just to get her emotes. I don't know. Because, like, I was gifted. So I... Because, like, okay. Chatters, chatters. If you're going to donate to a streamer, I would recommend gifting over cheering. Because, um, when chatters get gifted a sub, they'll have the emotes and then ad free viewing for a month. Now, chatters, if you got gifted a sub, would you be more inclined to resub if you got to keep the emotes by resubscribing? Hmm. I know I would, because, like I said, I got gifted a sub to Maya, but now I want her emotes because they're so cute. Um... The chatters, if you're gonna donate to the stream, gift subs. I think that is way better. Also better for growth as well. <clears throat> I don't know, it's my opinion. Guys, we got about 10 seconds left, and then you guys can finally talk again. No more censor in the chat room here. Dude, I need to enable Kekona. I keep forgetting to enable it. Okay, chatters, you guys are free. You guys are free. There you get you guys can breathe easy now. If chat was permanently in emote only mode, I would cry. Probably me too, because like wouldn't it be fucking weird if I'm not like talking talking to anybody in the chat room, right? There we go. <clears throat> like I'm indifferent because I used to have this take myself. Sorry, I have to wait till the loading screen because I want to clip this later. <laughs> I think when I first joined his emo only mode, fuck it. Oopsie. <laughs> well, like I said, that's why we had the overlay. Anyway, I used to have the take of, I used to not like sub or follower only mode chat rooms, but I have since come to change that perspective because the reason why our, my chat room is currently in 10 minute follower mode is to like, one, avoid shitheads and annoying people who come in to like say weird shit. Um, and also, it, you're more or less likely to be botted. Because, like, how essentially, like, a hate raid works is, like, somebody, a, like, a mean person will intentionally bring, like, tens or hundreds of bot accounts to your chat room and, like, say bad words. Um, usually, follower or sub-only mode kind of stops raids from happening. Or it's a lot more difficult for them to happen. Um, so, I am an advocate for follower-only chat now. Because... I know I don't go into streams randomly chatting anymore. I know I don't do that. I don't enjoy that as much. Because I know for me, in order for me to feel comfortable enough to chat on a stream, I have to watch a few streams to like get the vibe right and see how chat is. So I really do appreciate the people who do stick around, who do like lurk, who do chat. The people who follow and then lurk and then start chatting, like actually waiting the 10 minutes to chat. I genuinely appreciate those people. Because it's nice that you are understanding of why I do have follower mode only now. Because I understand that Pride Month is over. Um, I am POC as well. So it, it's all for my protection at its core, so.
Oh, so when we're in emote only mode, Potato, people can still use channel point redemptions. So for example, if we're in emote only mode, there's a channel point redemption for highlight my message. Um, so you can still redeem that and you can still save something if you want to, but you gotta spend points. So channel point redemptions are still enabled during emote only mode. So yeah. What's the process of making my custom emotes? Oh, okay. So basically, if you look through my emote like menu, they're all like screenshot. So what I do, like Mac is right. We did make, I think we made all of the follower emotes on stream. Like we spent like 20 minutes goofing and gaffing. I was posing. And then after stream, um, I went back and like screenshotted the still ones. And, and then I edited them in Photoshop. And then the animated ones. Oh my God. The animated ones took forever to make because for some, like the piece I two punch, because as you can see, the um, piece I two punch is a transparent. There's no background. So I had to um, edit and keyframe every single frame. So I had to edit like 50 frames to make them transparent. Um, anyway, so like I had to edit every single frame to make that GIF transparent. So in order to make my screenshot emotes, I basically have to edit them in Photoshop or edit them in Premiere and then Photoshop in, or like After Effects. Like I think... They're not that hard. It just takes time. With a lot of, like, editing and VFX work, it, it's very tedious work. But I definitely think it's a lot easier than doing illustration. I know for me, illustration, I feel like you have to have a distinguished style to your work, which I don't have yet, so. On Caspian, I put a command in chat that explains the channel point redemption. Because we talked about it earlier. But basically, um, I want to try and incorporate art into more streams, so... Chatters can spend channel points and I'll make a sketch card on stream. And if anybody does redeem it, we'll do that instead of you laugh, you lose. Because I still want to keep stream airtime at around three and a half hours. So, yeah. So, let us say, I think we're almost just about done with Animal Crossing for the day. I just need to finish harvesting this fruit and then we're solid. And if any chatters redeem that card redemption... Um, after Animal Crossing, we'll do that. So we'll do art right after. Because the reason why I don't want to do art every day is because I understand that it's somewhat new to the stream schedule. And I will do art on days where chatters want to do art, so... <laughs> that way it gives you guys some semblance of control of what we do. Because I know with my specific stream structure, it's very... It is very structured. Like, I have a lot of control of what I say, what I do on stream. Um, I don't necessarily like when chatters are... Um... Like, trying to tell me what to do. If it's in a channel for redemption, it's fine. Because, you know, it's set up that way. But... Like, you know when you see a stream and they're like, Hey, watch this YouTube video. And it's like, I don't necessarily like that as much. Because, like, it's obviously, like... Um, what does POC mean? Person of color. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like when people feel like they have too much control over what I do. So, you know, I'm my own person, like I said earlier, like, I'm not the type of person who, like, stand up and dance for you. Like, I don't, I don't do that. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to pick that up. Actually, I wanted to put all these little doodads in storage anyway, so I'll just pick them all up. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'll water off stream. Oh, we didn't click. We didn't check the clothes shop. We gotta check that real quick. Because on days where I don't play Animal Crossing on stream, it's so like on my off days, I usually will just log in to just check the shops to see if there's any new furniture or clothes. Because I know we are doing the Animal Crossing stream on Sunday. I'll go ahead and link that in chat again. <clears throat> so I, I over the weekend I'm gonna have to redecorate everything and like rearrange all my trees and stuff so I'm I'm not looking forward to that Woo.
I wish there was an option to like tuck in the clothes. Because this would look better if I could like tuck in the waistcoat, but I can't. Sag. Okay, we're not buying the pacifiers because I'm not a baby. I am a wimp, but I'm not a baby. Okay, let's see if there's any new furniture. Dude, I can't wait for Fall Guys tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get a crown tomorrow. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, this is cool. I'm, I'm broke! Oh shit, I'm broke, I'm broke. I'm a broke ass bitch. Has anybody's card, like, actually gotten declined at the store? Thankfully, I've never had that happen because I'm, I'm fairly good at budgeting. Like, the only time I've had a card not work is if, like, the chip isn't reading and you gotta, like, stick it in. Stick it out. Stick it back in. Like, thankfully, I've never overdrafted my debit card, which I think is an actual scam. Like, how banks will have an overdraft fee, so where you gotta pay, like, 20, 50 bucks. And it's like, that's stupid. It's like, I already don't have money. It is bullshit. I don't understand how it's reasonable to like have an overdraft fee. Like it, it, it's, to me, it's scummy. It's kind of like kicking somebody when they're already down. It's like you know they obviously overdrafted their account. It's like you don't need to charge them like 20, 50 bucks. It's crazy to me. You don't like Fall Guys? Okay, well I can kind of understand that like. The first time I played Fall Guys, which was like two years ago, I wasn't into it because like I wasn't good at it. But now, I am correct. I am so good at Fall Guys. It just takes a while to like learn the mechanics. It's one of those games where like if you don't like it, you don't like it. But if you like it, you you love it. Cause like the mechanics and controls are fairly simple, and I think that was a big reason why I kind of turned away from it initially because like I felt like the controls were too easy. So if I lost, I would get mad at myself. But now. I've gotten somewhat decent at the game to where, like, if I lose, I'm like, damn, I will do better next time. And I think it's one of those things, talking about perspective, like, you just need to shift it a little bit. Okay, Wolf, are you doing solos or duos? Because it, it's insane if you got two solo wins in a day. Am I for the whole season? Yeah, I don't like the jungle season. I don't like the jungle levels. They're, they're like, in insanely difficult in my opinion. I don't like them. Okay, so let us say I think we can go ahead and save here. But you know what else, chatters? You, you can save money when you subscribe with Prime because today is Prime Day. <laughs> if you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you get a free Prime sub because you know what? An ad is coming, so it's time for you to see some of you guys to see ads. You can avoid that ad rate by subscribing for free with a Twitch Prime. It's free, guys. Also, Twitch is doing, or not, or Prime is doing an exclusive coupon, not sponsored, but it's a fucking good deal. If you spend, or if you get a $100 Twitch gift card, then you get 20% off. So you're basically spending $80 to get $100. It's crazy. Or, you can subscribe for just $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee today and get app reviewing all month long. It chatters. After this, um... We can do you laugh, you lose, and then we'll do calligraphy today. Because we got a handful of subs today, which is crazy. You're doing solos with... You're insane. You're correct. That is crazy. Okay, anyway. So, chatters, stick around. We're going to do you laugh, you lose right after this ad break. So, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <clears throat> I mean, how are you getting solo wins? That's crazy. Wait, did I get to... Wait... No, I got one win on stream, and then I got one win the next day. I think I only have three solo wins. I got really close this morning, though. And then the rest of my crowns are through, like, achievements and goals. So they feel... Like, I think I have 16 crowns, but like I said, 
like 13 of them are from the missions and goals, so it doesn't feel like I actually got 15. That's why, like, I think on stream I'm only gonna do solo rounds. I feel like it's more, like, worthwhile in my- in my head. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for you guys. I forgot to take a picture of your win. Yeah, if you don't take a picture, it's not real. <laughs> you don't like the lobby music in Fall Guys? I think it's good. I think it's good. I mean, it does get annoying when, like, it's the same song, so I kind of get it. But I think it's cool body. Yeah, we're doing we're gonna be doing fungus every Wednesday until I get tired of it. So <laughs> I'm excited to play it. Like I'm addicted. I'm actually addicted to it. Oh wait, I forgot to change my title. Hold it. Um Wednesday. So chatters, if you are new to stream. There's my current schedule. Oh, I need to put Fall Guys on there. Oopsie. <laughs> Hold, I'm changing my title. Yeah, no problem, Wolf. I no problem. Because the way I do commands, I usually have commands for like frequently asked questions. That way you don't have to say it every time. So don't be afraid to ask questions, chatters. If you're new, I understand that stuff is new, so you're getting used to stuff. But don't be afraid to ask questions. If it's a common one, then I will just put a command in chat. If it's not common, then I'll verbally answer it. What is my category? Just chatting. Come on. I love streaming. <laughs> okay. So chat. You guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me. What made you laugh? <laughs> oh my god! Did he meow? Oh my god. Let me see. My big tea for coming in. Hey, Qdoba. How the fuck do you expect me to eat this thing? <laughs> It's like a motherfucking pie, dude. Oh, it's quap. That's good. That's a good. Edit. That's pretty solid. Like, we, we would call, like, airplane. So we would, like, if I had a friend over or if I'm messing around my sister, we would, like, put pillows on our feet. And then we would, like, hold each other up with our hands and feet. And we'd be like, oh, okay, we're playing airplane. Just me? Okay. Not gonna laugh. Spin for me, bro. Hit a little spin. Woo! Shit! Hey! Shit! 
Oh! What was it, buddy? No. Is it good? <laughs> nigga, this is a whole comedian. Back up. Can you spell that word? If you spell that word, word of my babies, I'll do 20 push-ups. Spell what word? Moo comedian. S M D. Yeah. The NPCs in the back. I got 50 for anybody that can do this. All right, NASCAR, are you watching this? All right, NASCAR, stop watching. Hi, Crystal. Who did? This is unrelated, but I haven't had my... And then he's making me happen, but the only thing I'm gonna get is gonna be me and this guy loves him too. And he comes in, I got him to serve him. Aww. I just let Patty inside, uh, on the fucking couch. Um, he, he is a very similar colour to the couch, though. Uh, he's gone. Uh, I can't find him anywhere. He's, he's, he's Mod check? Um. Where's the dog? I don't, I don't see him. Do. I'm, I'm sort of freaking out. Holy shit! He was playing fucking pool right there. Dude, I want to go bowling so bad. Like a kid was filming this and the kid just like screamed. That would have made the video like 10 times better. Have y'all ever seen a fucking sp Dude, how how to get inside? Yeah, man, don't bagel me. Tell me, Malik. It's hard. I mean, breakfast, really. Uh, what, what the fuck is wrong with my Pringles? Good one, Mac. Oh my God, look at it. Chicken. Ah. Oh. Hey yo! Oh shit. Yo, bro, what are you watching? Two for three, baby. Yo, bro. Yo, yo, yo. The egg one almost got me. It circumcised my pizza. What the fuck? Why don't they just make pizza without a crust? Like, put the toppings all the way to Here the edge. Kind of exploded. Let's see if this one does anything. Ah, oh, it didn't. Let's see if this one does anything. Ah, oh, shit. I don't. I hate canning shit. I hate fermenting stuff because I'm generally scared that's gonna happen.
Okay, well that was good. That was good. I that egg one was so good. Oh my god. Anybody left? Anybody get got? That was pretty solid though, let's be honest. Okay. So let us say Oh uh, so like I said, chatters we're gonna do the sketch redeem it. If anybody redeems it, but like I said, it would replace you laughy loose. So we'll do sketch card tomorrow. If anybody redeems it for tomorrow. Because like I said, I want to keep stream at three and a half hours. Because the sketch card will take um it will take what you call it. <clears throat> it will take like 30 minutes. So I laughed like four times. Well, good, good. I'm glad you laughed. Because like, okay. I have some beef with Cutie Lou. Says these you laugh you lose compilations are bad, and she said they're not funny. I'm like, huh? I think they're pretty like, solid because like it's unusual memes, right? Like it, it, they're funny. I think they're funny, but she's like, no, they're too weird. I'm like, that's the point. It's supposed to be weird, funny, huh? Okay, so chatters, what we're we gonna do now? Since nobody redeemed the card, um, oops, wrong, wrong command. <laughs> yeah. I I agree, I agree with, I, I think most of the clips are shocking, that's why it's funny, it's like, whoa, it's in your face. Okay, so chatters, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and thank subs, so anybody who subs, cheers, bits, or donates, or subs with Prime, because today's Prime Day, you get your name written in the sub on the journey, we got a good handful of resubs and subs today, so let's fucking go. Also, if you are broke, I will write your name for free for just 100 channel points. And you just have to tell me what color. Thank you for redeeming, Caspian. We'll do yours first, but thank you for redeeming. I'm a primer, yeah, we love our primers. Uh, I'm changing my title right now, hold. Okay, chatters, I changed my title. Did you like it? <laughs> Did you like my title? Is it good? Oh, I forgot to turn on my light again. We didn't have any fancy gold eyeglasses today. Damn. I keep on forgetting. Also, chatters, is the music loud enough or am I too loud? I feel like I need to make the better music louder. Thoughts? I don't know, because I was listening back to a VOD, and I was like, the music needs to be louder. But that's also because, like, I changed my, um, mic settings. So, I don't know, I'm indifferent. More music? Like, make it louder? Is that what you mean, Mac? If so, then I'll make it louder. Zang it. <laughs> what? Zooey mama! <laughs> Ta-da! A bit louder. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I'm like... Put it right here. Is this good? Because I want it to be like at a slightly lower than I am. And I know for some videos... Yeah, I have... Honey, woof. I have literally every single color. I got you, hun. Oh, Chatters, you want to know what pens I'm using. There we go. I just linked them in the chat room. Okay, so we're gonna do the channel point redemption names first. Okay. So first, Oh, you know how I said earlier I had a splinter in my finger? It was my fucking thumb. And I was so scared today that, like, because, like, it hurts whenever I press down on my thumb still, because it's on my finger pad right here. And, like, it hurt to play video games yesterday. But, you know, today wasn't as bad, so 
<laughs> I was gonna make a gag. Anytime I was bad at a game, I was gonna say chatters. Well, I had a fucking big ass splinter in my thumb, so it's bad if you make fun of me and saying I'm bad at Mario Kart today. But it honestly didn't hurt that much. Yeah, it fucking hurt when my dad yanked out that splinter, but you know, it's good that he got it out because I don't want an infection. Because imagine not having a thumb, that'd be bad. That'd, be, that'd suck. Especially if it's like preventable. I don't want that to happen. No, no. A lot of purple, you see? Yeah, we surprisingly had a lot of people want purple. <laughs> I wonder if you'll mess up this time? No. I have your username right here. I'm not gonna throw this time. The darkest purple I have? Okay. I think I have a more of an indigo one, but for sure, potato. Give me a Caspian switch. Yeah, this purple's more of an indigo y. Okay, on to the next page. How many times are you gonna mess up misspelling that, huh? <laughs> okay, next we had Wilbsaurus. Also, chatters, gentle reminder if you want me to write your name, you can sub cheer. Sub with Prime, which is free. Let's actually rotate my camera so you guys can see me. Or use your channel points. Today is Prime Day, so sub with Prime Chatters. If you have an Amazon Prime and you don't have a Prime sub, what are you doing? You're literally throwing money away. If you want to learn how to link your account, I will go ahead and link it in the chat room. Or if your parents have a Prime account, link their Amazon tier Twitch account. Because <laughs> that's what I did at first. I used my dad's Amazon account, and then I, ha I have my own separate account now. So, because I have, I'm on the, I think Amazon student program, so I only pay like seven bucks a month. Yeah, honestly, like use your mom's, use your uncle, use your aunt's account, like. Without them knowing- okay, well, chatters, you need to, like, log into their account so they would have to know. I'm not telling you to hacker manage your parents' computers, that's bad. That's bad behavior. <laughs> Here we got Wolves the rest. The R-U-S shape is really nice. I'm gonna do it without telling her- no, honey, don't do that. No. <laughs> Yeah, I think we do emo only mode for an hour, I think, yeah? He would think it's a scam. Shit, dude. I mean, I asked my dad first. He's like, free money? I'm like, yeah. He's like, go for it. And I was like, Pog you. Oh no, don't- yeah, Chatters, don't take your parents' credit card. I know people meme about it, but seriously, don't do it. Because <laughs> they will know. Especially with the increase of, like, literally everybody using mobile banking, they will know. Because, like, when I was younger, I was before the time of mobile banking, so, like, I literally- There was times where, like, I was a teenager and my mom would be like, Oh, you can take my card to the quarter store and you can use my card. And I'm like, no. No, because, like, imagine I fucking lose her card and she fucking, like, gets angry. I ain't taking her card. I don't even feel comfortable, like, using my sister's card. Because she will, like, hey, you can use my card. I'm like, no. Because, like, what if the ID you, right? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely so scared of that. That's why, like, I don't ever use anybody's card. Because, like, I have that anxiety to where, like, anytime I do choose to, like, finally act up and be, like, not do bad things, but, like, 
misbehave, let's say I'll get caught. Like, I'm genuinely scared of that. Okay, so we have mashed potato underscore underscore 05. So that concludes the channel point names. So we can go ahead and move on to the sub journal. Let's go. So chatters, if you wanted to get into this special journal, you have to sub cheer or donate to the stream. But you can still use your channel points if you want to. That is still available. Let's see, we had two resubs and then a gifted. <coughs> I need to get my other pens. Isn't this shirt cool? This is my mom's. I took it from her closet when I took the fishing fit. But it's cool. It's a bit tight, but you know, I like the pattern a lot. Oh, also chatters, for tomorrow, if any rede anybody redeems the cards, these are some examples of what I would do on stream. really like abstract work. I mentioned this on stream before, but with the cards, what my ultimate goal is, is I want to do cards on stream, and then once we unlock weekly art streams, I will make a card into a fully fleshed, like, acrylic painting. That's what I want to do with the sketch cards. So over time, if more people redeem, then we'll actually do more art streams, like with full-on painting. The perfect shade of orange, let's go! I thought it was a corset, really? Dude, I would never, I would never wear a corset. I feel like that'd be a bit much for me. Cause like, okay, corsets do look hot. Like the way the body is shaped looks nice when they wear a corset, right? But I got a tummy. So you would be able to like see the tummy still, I bet. But yeah, I don't follow back on Twitter, Lamo. Nice try, chatter. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. I've seen people, like, I've seen clips of people, like, streamers talking about how people get upset when people don't do follow for follow. But follow for follow is cringe. Also, especially in the digital age, people see following somebody as an endorsement. And I know you guys are nice in the chat room, but I don't know how you behave on the other parts of the internet. So I will never do follow for follow. I know you're joking, Caspian. I'm just speaking in general, so don't freak out. I'm not mad. Don't go home, go go. <laughs> don't go home, go, go cry. Don't go home, go cry, Dad. I cannot talk. So we had Jay Butler with a two month resub. I think I want to do stars again on this page. Let's add some stars. Also, I didn't push this at all today, but for a special extra gift for anybody who gifts a cumulative of five subs to the channel in the month of July, you'll get a custom sketch card made for you at the end of the month. Here's an example. So you guys have all month to redeem that if you like. Like I said, anything I do for subs is something extra because I think it's important to acknowledge them and help support you. Especially when you're small. But don't ever feel obligated to donate to the stream. I know I do shill a lot. I will admit it, I do shill a lot. But I think it's important to communicate it to an extent. The stream just froze for two minutes. Fuck it. As long as it wasn't on my end. Hopefully. 
I think I'm fine. I don't have any frame drops. Uh, Crystal, why are you highlighting your message for peace? I too evil smile. That's <laughs> such a weird thing to highlight. Okay, not the weirdest thing I've seen. Cause, like I've seen people like highlight like weird ass shit with highlight my message, or like they will like fucking trauma dump in a highlight message. And it's just like, bruh. You think you spending your channel points is gonna make me acknowledge sh shit that I'm not gonna talk about? Hmm. Kinda cringe. Cause like, I've talked about this earlier. But if I don't read your message, I'm not ignoring you. It's just... The way I see my commentary, if I give everybody equal attention, then the conversations won't keep flowing. So I'm not intentionally ignoring people. It's just every message that I read out loud or acknowledge, I usually have something to bounce off of with. Hey, Crystal, you're literally wasting your points. I, I'm, see, I'm being serious, you're literally wasting your points. Are you doing this for a dungeon? What was the weirdest message that got highlighted? It wasn't in my chat room, but I was in another stream and there was a chatter who was talking about their pet who had died and the stream was intentionally not acknowledging or reading the message because, you know, they don't like trauma dumping. And they typed the same message in chat three times. And it was in a smaller chat, so it's like, obviously the streamer saw it three times, right? But then the chatter used to highlight my message. And so then the streamer had to read it because they used the highlight. So chatters, Respect the highlight message. Don't post weird shit. Don't post inappropriate stuff. Don't Respect highlight my message still follows the chat rules So don't do anything fucking weird with it like you can goof and gaff using the peace I to evil smile is funny like it, it's it's, it's kind of silly that you're wasting your points But like just don't ever do anything inappropriate with it like um, that, That's the only thing I want to say about it Yeah, like it is annoying. Like, there's a reason why I don't read messages if you repeat it. There's a reason why I'm ignoring it. You know? And I'm talking in general, so... Yeah, Crystal, I'm not calling you out. Like, you're fine. I know you're trolling. But... Um... Like, I will see it... <laughs> Keeps on trolling. <laughs> Love Mo. Like... You'll see it in big streamers' chat. Like, there are chatters who will exclusively only chat with highlight my message and it's cringe like you're obviously baiting for attention and it's cringe I'm now broke well that's your own fault crystal <laughs> I'm sure you'll get more points next time <laughs> I love Mao yeah those people are weird you only have 23 points left fuck dude damn Feels bad. Man, Mac, you've been subbed for three months. It feels like you've been here longer, hun. Like, I thought you were only here for two months. Wait, I think, Mac, you started chatting back in, like, April or May, right? Wait, fuck. Damn. It has been three months. Shit. Dude, thank you for sticking around so long, hun. I think it's nice to see regular chatters. <laughs> when we gamble on Fall Guys, I'll get it all back. No! Oh! <laughs> Why did it send twice? Because you got automatic Caspian. Because you said Lamau. Because Lamau is apparently a curse word in Automod's POV. <laughs> oh, you didn't join stream until May? Okay, I see. Because, okay, chatters, I will self report on myself a little bit, okay? Anytime somebody's a new chatter, I will always look at their logs to see how long they've been following for, how long they've been subbed for, and when their account was created. Because with new chatters, you gotta make sure they're cool. You know, like, they Gucci, right? Um. And, ooh, it, I saw this um, announcement on Twitter that basically was saying... There will be like a public shared ban list. So meaning it's being, I think, I think it's being piloted right now. Um, 
But if you get banned in a streamer's chat, they can make their list public so I can see everybody that person is banned, so I can also cross ban them if I want to. So chatters, you better behave everywhere on Twitch, because if those lists become public, people are going to get banned everywhere. You realize that, right? So just because you can be wholesome in my chat doesn't mean you can be a fucking D-Gen in another chat. So... Keep that in mind. You have to behave everywhere. Almost at the artist card. Oh, enough points for it? Because like I said, Chatters, if Chatters redeem artist card, then we're going to do that segment instead of Yilapi Lose. Because I don't think I can stream for four hours just yet. No, I'm not stalking Chatters. I'm not stalking Chatters. It's for my protection, okay? Because sometimes, sometimes I get bot follows and I can tell because it'll say account bait two minutes ago following since two minutes ago. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Seems kind of sus. I'm always nice. Yeah, Crystal, you've been a wholesome chatter. Most of you guys are wholesome. <laughs> I'm gonna be bad here now. Fuck. Okay, next. I'm stalling too much. I'm stalling way too much. Yeah, gentle reminder, chatters. Um, I currently don't do pet. I currently don't do pets. Because, like... Um, pet anatomy is totally different than, like, a human anatomy, so I'm not ready for that. Because, like, for me, I should write and talk, write and talk, <laughs> write and talk. Um, there's, like, I feel like when you do for stuff for stream, you have to have a level of confidence in it. Like, even though I'm bad at video game, I think I'm decent at the games I do play. Like, I I'm decent at marker, like, I'm not absolute trash. So, like, I don't feel confident enough doing pet portraits. I'd rather... I, I, I feel very comfortable with, like, human portraits, but not pet portraits. So, TLDR, no. I would not do a pet portrait. <laughs> like, I wish I could learn pet anatomy, but it's not as consistent as, like... Am I gonna photo show the photo on stream? Um, well... I thought about it because I would only show it on stream if um, I like physically print out the photo reference, but otherwise I would just look on my phone for the picture, so no. So Mac, just make sure it's a photo that you're comfortable with because like I would be drawing the picture. So even if the photo is not shown, the illustration would still be shown, so I guess yes. You was it for tomorrow's stream? Thank you, Wolf. I appreciate that. I was I would say don't redeem it now. <laughs> I was like don't. I don't want to scam you. Cause like if you guys are drawing, it's a lot easier to draw from like a print reference because you can draw directly on um like on the reference. Like I find it's a lot more difficult to draw from like a, a screen reference. Dude, Potato, your name is so long. Ah! There we go, saved. Now you're fine, it's okay to ask, Mac. There you go, Wolf, I linked a quick explanation in the chat room for you. Well, how am I gonna put the gifteds up here? How's it gonna fit? Fuck. <laughs> Let's just like put it up here. There we go, it fits. Try it again. Oh, TY, oh, okay. No, you're fine, Wolf, you're fine. I thought you said try. I was like, huh? But yeah. Like I said earlier, I will always have um, commands for like common questions. But yeah. So I don't, I don't feel like I need to say the same spiel every time. There we go. We have mashed potato with a tier one to the chat room. Once again, thank you for gifting potato. I appreciate it. Okay, so I think that does about <laughs> that just about does it for today's stream. Unless anybody else wants to use their channel points or 
throw it to the channel and I'll write your name right now. Last call. Last call, chatters. Yeah, we can talk about that later, Mac. You would give credit? Okay, cool. Because I know some people don't credit P5 profile pics, and I think that's cringe if they don't give credit. Loki Haiki cringe! But yeah, of course. I would be honored. Okay, chat, seriously, let's go! Let's go! Mod check anybody? Wait, I'm also self reporting. Look, there's. My wallpaper doesn't cover my full wall. I'm kind of broke on channel points. Sag. Okay, that's all. Oh wait, chatters. Unless, unless anybody wants to sub with Prime? Anybody? It is Prime Day. Why not use your Prime sub on me? How am I scamming you? Huh? I think it's more like you're scamming me, bruh. <laughs> chatters, sub with Prime is fucking free. Take somebody from Basics and give it to me. Okay, nobody else. Sag. <laughs> The wallpaper, oh. No. See, look, I'm not scamming. It. Look, it's not cut off anymore. Ta da! Okay, so the stalling is great. <laughs> yeah, Crystal is like, please stall for 20 more minutes so I can get 100 points. Okay, so chatters, chatters. I'm gonna go ahead and end stream here. No raid today, because none of my friends are live. Sag. But, I will be live again. The only way we can stall is if somebody gives me money, so. Uh, <laughs> stalking is so fun. What? Okay, good. Nice. <laughs> Moderators, keep it on, Caspian. Moderators. <laughs> there is self reporting in the chat room. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so chatters, chatters. I'm gonna go ahead and end stream here. Um, like I said, no raid because nobody I know is live. It's big sag. We will be live again tomorrow with Fall Guys. Like I said, we're gonna be doing Fall Guys. <laughs> I'm trolling, Casmin. I'm trolling. Like, okay, seriously, chatters. If anybody acts up, I will not call them out. I will handle it quietly. I will ban or delete quietly. Like, I'm not. I will never goof and gaff like that seriously. So. Don't be scared, chatters. Don't be scared. Like I said, I don't be mean to be mean. Like, I will always handle shit quietly because you don't want to give those people attention because they want that negative attention. Um, Gamba time? What? Gamba time? No. We're not, not gambaing. <laughs> oh, you're trolling me back? Okay, cool. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we're doing... Yeah. You're right, Potato. We are live tomorrow at 11 a.m. PST. We're doing Fall Guys. So, as I said at the top of stream, every single solo win, every single solo crown I get, I will give chat a sub. So maybe, maybe, I'll get a W tomorrow. We didn't get a W last week, but maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and chat, a gentle reminder, it is Prime Day, so... We'll try to be there. Pog you. Pog you. Love to see you there, Potato. Pog you. Gentle reminder. Prime Day is going on till tomorrow, so Twitch gift cards are 20% off if you purchase a $100 gift card. So that means you spend 80 you get 100 It is actually fucking insane. I know I bought one today for myself, because I will probably, maybe, give chat subs around. I don't know. Well, if we get a W, I have to give subs. Okay. So, we'll be live again tomorrow at 11 a.m. PST. Once again, thank you to anybody who came to the stream. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you to people who resubbed and gifted. I appreciate it. You're helping support the stream. Like I said, last month you guys bought me all of last month's all of last month's donation to help me buy this bag. So thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Crystal, I laughed because yes, I am a fucking pro at stalling. Okay? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to help you out, okay? Um, but just a reminder, if you're still here, check out my offline social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow my fucking Twitter. If you aren't, what are you doing? Oh, also, um, we are doing that Animal Crossing stream on Sunday, so that it's going to be your bonus stream for the week. So make sure you have those DIY recipes ready to go for Sunday if you're going to participate. Um, okay, I'm going to head out now. So, 
I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye.